Hello? 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 Hey. We, ha we have a floof. We have a floof on the desk. Attention. <laughs> is is this is this flu fawn? Yeah, she's just she's just very quiet. Um, but hey, <laughs> Scoot is today's first. How you doing, Scoot? How you doing, Scoot? And Ghost, how you go? How how you going? Don't don't be gooing. Uh, how you doing, Ghost? <laughs> Ghosts don't goo. I think. Um, <laughs> is uh, yeah, Ghost is today's third, which means that second is still uh, available. <laughs> but yeah, it is nice to see you both today. How how you been since since? Well, it hasn't been that long, but hope you've had a good day so far. Um, hair floof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, we have a floof. She's very cuddly right now. <laughs> but you're good, you basically done nothing but Factorio today. So, pretty much like yesterday then. <laughs> Just make sure that you eat, Scoot. It's important. Don't don't skip your meals. Otherwise, play until until your heart's content. I mean, I mean, not not that you 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 would have to listen to me anyway. I'm just you know just looking after after you, looking out for you is what I'm trying to say. Um, but you're doing good with helping your sister with studies and homework since you were free and had nothing to do. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Ghost, ghost is is a good brother. You'll get food soon. Just looking after something else. Oh, well, I mean. The, the 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 aliens can wait. <laughs> the, the aliens can wait. <laughs> I actually I don't know. Is it aliens? I mean, it is in space, so I I assumed that that was what it was. But or I guess you're gonna protect the the factory from the aliens. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so guys, to, 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 to today, um, we're going to be playing a game called Paranormosite, which um, I have not played before, never played it before, but I've had it for a while. I've been saving it specifically for October. Um, so uh, I figured it might be me time to do that now. Yeah, no, this is not a vape, by the way. I, that was brought to my attention last week, that it sounds like a, a vape. It's just <laughs> my water bottle is so loud for some reason. <laughs> um, but there are some aliens. Mm. Um, yeah, so it's I think it's supposed to be like a visual novel. So there, I don't know how long I'll, I'm going to be streaming today, um, because... If there's a lot of reading, it's going to be very tiring. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, but it is it is also a Square Enix game, which the, the other game we, we're playing near uh, Replicant is also a Square Enix game. Um, I don't even have any sort of bias. Uh, it's completely coincidental, but I don't I don't mind. I don't mind. Good. A good game is a good game. Um, no matter where it's from. I actually don't have any bias when it comes to any studios or or devs or publishers, I don't think. I used to think that way about CD Projekt Red, but then it's like, I never played Cyberpunk and it's not my type of game at all. So then it's like, ah, I guess it's just, I guess it's just The Witcher. <laughs> I guess it's just The Witcher. Um... I guess the closest where I'm like I always buy games from this uh these particular devs is Studio Amanita. Um It's it's an indie studio that just makes a lot of um 
point and click type of games and uh, they have these always these cute cr critters in it and stuff so I guess that's the closest I can come to to having a bias when it comes to these things but <laughs> vape no I don't I don't smoke I don't smoke or vape uh, I, don't, I don't do any of that stuff Thankfully, because I don't, I don't need any other vices than, um, well, I guess beep as most is, is my only vice in life. <laughs> and, I, you know, I don't need any more. That's, that's, that's more than enough. Um, oh, but yeah, I, I'm so obsessed with, with the near, uh, these days. So, and you can actually see the little, little... 9S figurine right here. Uh, I placed it there. Hold on, can we see it on the... No. It's, it's... The, the angle is not right for that. Um... Can you see the little, 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 little 9S up there? <laughs> uh, so that was one of the, the figurines that I uh, unboxed yesterday. Who needs all that when you can breathe air? That that's that's true. That is true. Technically, I think you can get high on air too, so <laughs> not that you get high on vape, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like that can do some stuff for you too, I suppose. Uh, don't don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Um Yeah, it's it it is we also have Zot here. Yeah, that's true. You can actually the, the picture that I the the pictures that I posted in, in the Discord. You can actually see the top of the shelf for once. There's a lot of stuff above the shelf as well that people can't see. <laughs> not not on, on stream, but I'm just stacking it all up uh, on, like until right under the ceiling, so. Breathe air, but not a lot of it. I, I read that as breathe air, but uh, so. I like be, be, th that's don't don't do that. Well, I mean, that's kind of weird. <laughs> don't don't breathe butt uh, butt air. That, that's that's not good. Um, but yeah. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I've only opened the game a little bit to make sure that I have switched all the scenes and stuff for the game and and or like have the right capture and. Um, and, um, it kind of gave you a dialogue right away before you even got to a menu. So I, I don't know how that's going to look now, but it, it, it was basically just a narrator uh, telling you about controls and stuff. So it shouldn't be too important if it doesn't show up again, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Hunter, how you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. But yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting though. I do like uh, visual novels. I don't play them very often. I actually have played very few. But I really do enjoy it though. It can just be very tiring reading a lot, but I'm looking forward to it. Are you doing good? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm just uh, a little, little drained, I guess. Uh, not not too too bad though. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I think we can just get into the game, maybe. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. Uh, let me just switch things around a little bit here. Uh, Nikki? What? <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Welcome in! Welcome in! How you doing, Nikki? How was your stream? How was your stream? What are you doing? What are you playing? Hold on, give me let me give you shouty outy. Uh wait, alright. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one then. Um, the the fancy one. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. 
You were just chatting? What were you, what were you, what were you, did, did you just chat the entire stream? What were you talking about? What were you talking about? But yeah, welcome in guys, welcome in. Also, thank you so much for the follows. We do have anonymous follows, by the way, for people who just want to, you know, lurk uh, in peace and, and not draw any attention to themselves. So feel free to do so. But hey, Sargra and Ka Kaskia, Kaskia, how, uh, is, that, is that how you say your name? <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Um, and Nikki, of course. And Midi, and Zai, and U Uku is welcome in, welcome in, guys. And Angelic Station, how you doing? How you doing? Um, you were late. No, you were not late. You were you arrived precisely when you meant to. Um, and Monster Peace. <laughs> and Ram Alva. Damn, there's so many people. So many people. So many new people that I haven't seen before as well. And. Uh, <laughs> And I, I'm so sorry. I have. Can I call you just Z? Because I have no idea how to say triple Z and triple X. Well, I guess I could say that, but. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome in, guys. For those of you who are new here, which is, is probably quite a few of you, uh, my name is Repikos. You can call me Vep, Vepri. Uh, I'm a Norwegian streamer, and uh, I usually play a lot of RPGs and. Um, and Souls likes, Metroidvanias, indie games. Um, I usually play near replicant these days. Um, and now, today, we're gonna be playing a Paranormal Site, which is a visual novel. It's like a horror game, but it's a visual novel, and I have not played it yet. So it's gonna be it's gonna be the the start of a a brand new new thing, a brand new thing. But thank you so much for the follow. Uh, you chatted you finished life is strange remastered and then you played a bit of life is strange double exposure Ooh, nice nice how how did you enjoy it also how I, i'm i'm just <laughs> i played i played uh life is strange and did, i just uh, i i want to ask what ending you got but at the same time i don't want people to get spoiled um so Nail it the second time, Ka uh, Kaskia. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess it's because in my head, uh, because of Berserk, Those it's like- Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. Damn right, Gail. Um, <laughs> though. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ghost. Thank you for the 30 bits. Uh, um because of Koska in in Berserk so I just read it as Koska but like Koskia so like that that was where my mind went even though it's with a K in Odyssey <laughs> so sorry for your name you call it just Z if you prefer <laughs> don't apologize for your name I just I just don't want to offend anyone over their name because I feel like I do that probably quite a bit so um I uh, it's it's difficult to know sometimes <laughs> But Z, I will, I will, I will call you that then. <laughs> Unless you prefer something else, then let me know. Um, that is Raz stick around. No, you, no oh, you. Well, I mean, I mean, technically they could also stick around in your chat, but it's just maybe not too much to going on there right now, seeing as you rated out. But <laughs> gotta rate and run for now. But he will keep you tabbed. Have fun. Thank you so much, Nikki. Obviously, yes, go go do post stream stuff uh, and and all 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 that. Thank you so much for the raid. Go follow Nikki. I don't know why I said why I didn't say that sooner, but obviously, go follow Nikki if you haven't already. She's amazing. She's great. She has a lot of energy and just a good bean all around. You know, all over, well, all over. I don't know about all over, but <laughs> that was <laughs> okay. So if you if you don't. If you don't know me, I'm I'm kind of awkward. I say a lot of stupid things. <laughs> but yeah, go go follow Nikki. That that was the that was what I was trying to say. Yes, do that, do that. <laughs> hey, brutal Richard. I've seen you in in quite a few streams, but I I don't think I've ever seen you in my chat before. So welcome in, welcome in. Uh, <laughs> Near Replicant is so good, and Near Automata is one of your favorite games of all time. Ah. I'm gonna be playing near rep uh, written near automata after replicants um but this is my first time playing replicants and I have I already 
love the game so, so much. And, um... I would have to say... I have played... Well, I have started Nier Automata twice. Uh, but I've never finished it because... I just couldn't really get into it in, in, in a way. Um, because the... I, I know I keep talking about this all the time because I'm playing Replicant, so I, I mention it quite a few times on, on those streams. Um, but it's just easier for me to care about the story and the people in Replicant, so that kind of grabbed me more than Automata did. But seeing as now that I actually have a more of a foundation with the lore and story and stuff, because Replicant is like a prequel for those who don't know. It's a prequel to Nier Automata. So now that I have more of like a foothold in, in the story, I will have a much easier and better time going into Automata again. So hopefully third time's the charm. <laughs> hopefully. Um... Do need to stop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, people will not let it go. Uh, the, the, just, just ignore Toonie. Um, <laughs> but how you doing, Toonie? Um, you love my room so cozy looking and there's so much style. Thank you, thank you. I have, I usually have a cat sleeping on the floor behind me here. So there's like a, um, towel. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. A towel and everything on the floor. But he's outside right now, so... Um, so you can usually see him on stream. I do have two cats. Uh, my other cat was on the desk before, uh, at the beginning. But thank you so much! No one to spoil anything either, but you definitely made some choices. You enjoyed it and sort of enjoying the new one, but you didn't get super far. Mm. I'm so behind, so I, I just read that now. And Nikki has probably left ages ago. <laughs> uh, she's good all over. I Yes. That is basically what I'm I meant, but like in in less in a in a less weird way, I guess. Um <laughs> You're everywhere and nowhere, but you're happy to be here. It is it is nice to have you here too. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh in for a treat. Hmm. I have watched the anime though, I have to say. I have so I've gotten the the main story i guess of automata spoiled i don't i still haven't gotten any spoilers from replicant though so i do know how the story ends and all that in automata but i still feel like i'm going to enjoy i feel like that is so yeah i watched the anime because i figured the i've tried playing the game twice now i'm probably not going to be playing it <laughs> so i just like i'm just i'm gonna watch the anime so i watched the first core and then i obviously had to continue watching the second core as well but then i was like well now i kind of regret doing that because now I'm, i've started replicant and i i want to i want to play both now but now i'm getting i'm getting spoiled but at the same time it makes me more motivated to actually play the game as well so it's like It's both good and bad that I did it, I guess. So how many metric liters of tears have you produced throughout New Replicant? Uh, not too much. Uh, like, I've teared up, but I haven't actually straight up cried. Um, well, let's just say last stream, which was yesterday, we did get to... I'm trying to say without spoiling. But we have gotten, I think it's three fragments, so we have two left. We, well, let's just say we went to a, a wedding. We went to a wedding yesterday. Uh, that's saying quite a bit without saying too much, I guess. Uh, that was the last thing we did. So, that was probably the... the maybe the saddest thing so far um before that as well but i'm gonna i'm not gonna oh there was something wholesome too that also made me kind of cry a little bit but anyway not gonna i'm i said that i was gonna i wasn't gonna spoil <laughs> <laughs> you 
you never finished it either. It's such a good game too. I, I think it's just... And yes, I'm sure that everything is for lore reasons, but... It's just, it doesn't have a good build-up uh, to me. It's a very slow burn automata. It's, it doesn't have a good build-up because you, you're not made to care uh, from very early on. So you're just thrown into the action and I don't know. It just, you have to be patient, I think, to get to the actual, actual good part because the start is very, it's very meh, at least in my opinion. So I think that's why it was very difficult for me to continue. Uh, the story of uh, Replicant is about individual people, while the story of Automata is about the entire humanity. Yeah, yeah. And it is good if you just stick with it, but it's just... difficult <laughs> to get to that point, because it's also very grey and, and dull looking. Like, it doesn't have a lot of colors. I'm not I'm not saying this as, like, a, an insult, but it's, like... It's very difficult to get into because of how... Like, and I know the that there's a reason for all this, too. But there's a lot of things working against you, <laughs> I feel like, to, to fully get you immersed and get, get into it. Well, I mean, not, maybe not immersed, but get into it. Um... So I feel like I needed to have it a, a, in a bit more of a, a more easily digestible format first, like anime. How far did you get? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, had, uh, I already already <laughs> responded to that. <laughs> You're best ignore. No, that's not true, Toonie. That's not true. You look, this is my, this is my, this is my, 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 uh, my little mascot. It's foe. It's my, my, my fox. It's my fox. I have fox emotes, so I have a lot of fox stuff in my stream. <laughs> um, still need to watch the Nier Automata anime. You should watch it. It's pretty good. I mean, I don't know how you're going to feel about it after playing the game. I feel like a lot of people... had mixed feels, feelings about it if after watching, well, no, after playing the game, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, there are 26 endings in Automata, which one was spoiled? Well, there are like five main endings, though. I think they actually included all the, the minor endings, too, in the... Uh, so what they do in the anime is that they show like the small variations of endings uh after the credits so they have like a little little puppet show at the end of each episode where they show endings and stuff um so i think they kind of implemented all of it maybe maybe not all of them but most of them at least but the good one yeah, I don't- I don't want to spo- um... I don't know, maybe it's better to leave it as a surprise for people who have played the game and don't actually know which ending they're gonna go with. I don't know. Do you think the story of it told through the game could be a better way for the story to be delivered? Yeah, that makes sense. But it's also like... It needs to... Have... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I guess it, it depends on the people as well. One thing that I have to say that I do not agree with, though, is how other people have said that you should just skip uh, Replicant to go straight to Automata. I do not agree with that. I am 100% disagreeing with that, because that is what I needed to want to play Automata. <laughs> so yeah, it's all the individual. It, it's very subjective. After all, it's about how the meaning of life is not a given, but it's something you have to take yourself, the postmodernist philosophical interpretation of the meaning of life. So maybe it's better as a video game? Um, well, sure. But it's also... It also needs to keep your attention, I guess. 
like okay so let me let me say this if 2b wasn't the main character i wonder who how many people would stick with the game honestly but hey black cats how you doing hope you're doing well today i'm doing well today how you doing how are you doing today You've heard a few other people who felt how automata is slow going in the beginning. You think for you was intrigued in the beginning by the fact that obviously a lot of the things in the prologue chapter are lies. Hmm. But how do you know that in the beginning though? The background music soundtrack in the bunker is literally titled Fortress of Lies. But how are you supposed to know that? You don't know that until you keep playing it, you know? It's not like it's revealed right away. Fo the fox is so adorable. Yee. <laughs> My sparky kitty cat, how you doing? You would love to re-experience your favorite stories of all time in a different format. You were just waiting for the anime to finish developing so you could watch all episodes from start to finish. Instead of having to wait, which you can't do. Yeah, so the first core, I watched I watched that as it came out. And the unfortunate thing that uh, there was that they had a lot of uh, production issues. Where they had to uh, leave it on a, like a, a hiatus. I think there was like the longest hiatus between two episodes for like it was like three months. Um, so I also waited for the second core to be done um, before I started that. So, but that was, I think that was finished like a month ago or something. So the whole whole show is finished now. When you're playing near Automata, the version. <laughs> Remake but not remaster still didn't come out yet, and the time you were not going to even try to figure out how to play the den then ten year old game that requires an old gen console to play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I tried playing Automata in twenty eighteen was the first time. And I dropped it. And then I tried again in twenty twenty one and I dropped it. <laughs> So uh, I couldn't. I, I'm not really sure if I'm lucky in that way because I already tried way, way long ago. Um, you doing okay? Just been raiding on Final Fantasy fourteen. Nice, nice. I didn't know for sure they were lies in the beginning, and that's what kept you intrigued. You felt like they were too good to be true, and that something's wrong. And you kept your grasp by the game because you wanted to learn more. Yeah. I mean, that's that's fair. That's also what I'm saying. Like, it's it's also very, very subjective. It is very subjective. Um, for me, I didn't really have any investment uh, from early on. So I feel like I, I needed to... I needed to play Replicant first. And I feel like also watching the anime helped me a lot. Um, because the game itself, I didn't really enjoy the combat. I'm enjoying the combat in Replicant way more. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, we all have different tastes, I guess. <clears throat> I also like that there was a more variety, more color as well in Replicant. Um, Automata is very gray, very colorless, and, and that, that for me, the way, like, aesthetics is very important for me, and the world of Automata feels very empty, very empty, um, so it's, that also makes it really difficult for me to progress and, and feel interested enough, um, Today's been a bit rough. No, don't don't have a rough day. You're not allowed to, black cats. You don't know if it's because you slept in a weird position, but your neck and head have been killing you all day. Oh no, I hate when that happens. I do hope you feel better though, black cats. 
completed both the Bahama and Alexander raids that are a bit of a pain to solve, but you did it. Nice, nice. I don't know anything about uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, well, I mean, I, obviously I know that it's an MMO and all that, but I don't, I don't know any... I haven't played it. <laughs> but congrats, you did it, you did it. It's really cool how they named it. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say the, the number, but <laughs> it's actually the square root of 1.5. They really wanted to make a statement about how it is not a remaster. That is kind of cool, though. That is pretty cool. Um, I actually didn't know that either. No one has pointed it out to me. Mostly because when I play the game, I don't have any people in in my stream who has played it before. I think maybe like. Two people uh, have like stopped by who was play who who have played the game. Um, did I ever get a chance to play the Horizon games though? Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, I actually bought Horizon Zero Dawn when it came out. Um, I played about five hours of that too and dropped. <laughs> and I'm not a person who tends to drop games. I'm not. Uh, so that's... yeah. I'm just also not very huge on sci-fi. Uh, sci-fi is not really my thing. Space and sci-fi. Not my thing. Um, that's another series of your favorite games of all time, and they got what's opposite of Grey and Empty World. Yeah. I guess we just have very, very different tastes. <laughs> Because I couldn't, I could not get into. Uh, I also don't like the over the shoulder view. That's also why I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't play God of War either. You know, from twenty eighteen, I gave that about five hours as well. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I played that for about. Uh, I played it in one sitting, uh, for like five hours, and um, I just get this like sensation of not being able to breathe because I'm just too close to the character and I just want to zoom out and it bothers me so much I can't I can't do it um that would also explain why I didn't find Nier Automata interesting at first that's straight up hard sci-fi exactly exactly um so I guess I should have started with that, because that is also a huge reason why. Um, but, like, I love, like, very philosophical and also games with a deep story. But I just needed a, a different packaging, I guess, first to get into it. You're really into hard sci-fi games, which Horizon categor categorically is. Yeah, yeah. And so that that makes sense then. <laughs> uh, I'm more of my, I'm more into fantasy. Um, so Replicant is definitely more appealing to me because it has like it has both. It has fantasy and it has sci-fi as well. Um. You already tried uh, using a heating pad, a cooling pack, and have already taken two different over-the-counter pain meds. So you can take any more for a while. It's gotta to tough it out. It's okay though. Other than that, you. I hope you you can take you can take a nap. Black hats. I hope you manage to like take a nap and then hopefully feel a little bit better. But yeah, let's let's get into the game though. I was uh, literally b right before the raid. I was just about to open the game, <laughs> but now I ended up just just sitting sitting here chatting, which is also really really nice. So, I mean, I, not gonna lie, we do end up sitting here chatting a while before playing the game anyway. But um, we don't have to miss such games with the deep and philosophical. So philosophically thought-provoking stories, just because they came in a form, in the form of sci-fi. <sighs> yeah, it's just sometimes I enjoy watching games like that. Uh, 
it makes it easier for me to, to enjoy the story when I'm not playing myself. So I tend to... I tend to prefer watching over playing uh, when it comes to those games, but... The reason why I started playing Replicant was because I'd seen someone else uh, start it up. And I saw how different it looked. Like, this is this really the same universe? Is this the same series? Because this looks so much better. Like, this is more my thing, and I was immediately sold. Um, which I was not prepared for. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna play this now. Um... I guess I just needed to take it st step by step, and they're all up in your grill, like we <laughs> Yeah, I I just I can't have the the over the the shoulder view. I can't. It bothers me so much. Um, you'd say the deep and philosophically thought provoking part of Horizon series story is no less than near Automata, but you really have to dig deep into the story to appreciate it. Mm. I don't hear the same type of praise, though, uh, for the Horizon series, even though I know that a lot of people love them. Um, I just don't feel like it has the same status um, among gamers. Maybe that's just my impression. Um, it was so fun chatting with me. Thank you. It was so fun chatting with you, too. <laughs> But yeah, we we also yeah, um I did actually get um actually did get a, a I did a little unboxing at the beginning of stream yesterday. So I have a little 9S figurine right here. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to switch the scene and I saw, "Oh, I have the little little this one on my desk. It came with the 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 well, it it, it won't focus. Came with the the figurine, <laughs> but yeah. So we, today we're playing Paranormosite, which is a game that uh, I'm very intrigued uh, about. It's also a Square Enix game. I feel like the sound is a little bit loud. At least it is for me. Uh, I feel like it's because Horizon's messages are more directly related to what's going on today in the real world, in the immediate present. Hmm. Yeah, the 9S! Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a... It's a, um... Nendoroid figurine. But yeah, so I I just started this game earlier to, to test it out on stream. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna... So the game just started with... Not dialogue, but it was like... Well, it, it was kind of dialogue, but it was like... Um, a narrator telling you about... Um, well, I guess it was kind of like a tutorial, uh, in a way. And I don't know if I can if I can get back to that again. So what does it say about copyright information? I mean, not that I'm gonna read all of that, but oh well. You gotta go, but hope you have a great time. Great time. Thank you so much, Z. Thank you for for stopping by and hanging out and chatting. I appreciate it. Hope you have a, a wonderful rest of your day. You actually just woke up a few hours ago. Didn't want to fall asleep uh, until seven a.m. Wait, you didn't fall asleep until seven a.m. But did sleep pretty soundly until like one. So that's way more sleep than you used to. I think that's part of the problem. So too peacefully, but in a weird position. Oh. Yeah, it happens. Again, it's not a vape, it's my water bottle. But is the sound too loud? Do I need to adjust it? Just before I open the, the actual game. Hmm. 
I'm also kind of tired today. <laughs> well, to be fair, I've been tired all week, but... What else is new? <laughs> you think it's better if I do adjust it, but... Is it loud? Low? Does this game have trigger warnings? So I don't know. Not that I've seen. But it's like, that's that's kind of the difficult thing about a lot of games. It's like, there's always going to be something that is triggering to some people. Um, but if it's not like something very, very specific, like, or something very widespread, that's going to be triggering to a bunch of people, then it's going to say, but I don't, I haven't seen anything specific about that. But that, that doesn't mean that I can't guarantee that it's not going to be something that is triggering it in it big. Because I haven't, I haven't looked it up. Um, so I don't know. But it is, it is a, it is a visual novel though. So, not too graphic I would assume. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't think there's anything very specific about it that is, uh, triggering. Do I know Doki Doki? I do. Um, I haven't played it though, but I, I do, I do know that it is, uh... Yeah, let's, let's open the game. Yeah, so this was just this narrator telling me, and I couldn't- Apparently I just can't start from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, it was just, like, one minute. But yeah, it was basically just a tutorial. It feels a little loud. Yeah, because I, I can't adjust it. I just wanted to know for sure. You think the volumes are okay? Okay. Um... You can look around in most situations when you're able. So it's like it is a visual novel, but apparently you can also move around. So I I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'll explain other essential functions when the time is right. Okay. Uh, there's one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue. It would feel strange to go on without knowing your name. Please tell me what I may call you. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the uh, mush. What? I'm a short version of the name of my name. I see. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Are you certain you wish to be called Veprikos? No. Oh, how rude of me. Please pardon my mistake. I was sure that's what you said, but it seems I was wrong. What came over me? Let me try again. You wish to be called Vep? Yes. I see. Very good. I seem to have gotten it right this time. Alright, now that we've been properly introduced, let us begin our story. Hmm. Yeah, so this, I was like, this uh, is apparently a little bit meta then? I don't know. It's probably just recognizing my name on Steam or something. Um, 
But that is interesting, though. That is interesting. <laughs> um. But this is the type of horror that I I can enjoy. I like I like that. I have a hair in my mouth. The way the music stopped, but that does set the tone. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, presented by Vep. Uh, from antiquity to present day, regardless of how society and civilization evolve, evolve death has been, sent, uh, has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. Whether it is one's own or that of someone close, death is always a difficult thing to accept. This is an immutable reality, a value shared by all, no matter the age in which they live. In fact, oral traditions reflecting people's fears and prayers regarding death still remain, ghosts, spirits, and so on. Similarly, in attempt to defy death, Many curses, rituals, and customs have been born. From burning spirit incense to summoning the souls of the dead. Some of those secret arts are still being passed down to this day. Ah, on that note, Vep. This may seem rather abrupt, but... Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? Hmm... Hmm. He's giving stock. I think it's because he's prop. Well, I'm guessing that he is like some sort of supernatural entity or something that has power to has powers to know these things, and I'm probably just not supposed to know it yet. Um, but I don't know. Is there someone I wish to bring back from the dead? I don't know. I don't know. What if? What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life, one time and one time only, what would you do? I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice my myself, or I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice someone, or I'd use it if it came at no cost. I wouldn't want it, let someone else have it. I if I'm if I'm gonna answer as myself I would just say this because I don't have any any interest in bringing anyone back for any reason that's just me um I understand people who would maybe possibly want to do that but I don't yeah, I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. <laughs> That's not the answer that he wants, I'm pretty sure. I see. Very interesting. Yes, yes. That is what I thought you would say. Hmm? What seems to be the matter? Ah. You want to know what this box has been sitting here is? Wait, which box? Oh. <laughs> I thought he meant an actual box, not the TV. Uh, it's quite the curious thing, isn't it? This is called a color television. You don't say. The world I will be sending you to is full of devices such as this that do not exist in the age you are from. What age am I from? Am I from the past? In this era, a color television can be found in nearly every household. That is not all. For example, if a person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home, they use public telephones like this and can be found all over the city. Can you imagine what life would be like in such a time? I'd be thrilled to have you continue the story, Vep. After all, this is why you came here, no? 
So let us begin. I've kept you waiting long enough. I present to you Paranormacite, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. A peculiar yarn ensnaring nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it unravels. Some of the characters appearing within surely share your views on the Rite of Resurrection. I imagine those who have lost someone dear to them will feel particularly strongly about it, clinging to it as their last desperate hope. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to, like, assist these people? And maybe determine whether I... it's worth letting them be able to resurrect someone or not, maybe? I don't know. This game is fairly new. Yeah, it came out last year. It came out in 2023. Um... The first I shall introduce a man named Shogo Oki. Oki. Oki? O o Oki? I don't know. He's one of them. Person of interest... Uh, persons of interest updated. Okay. Office worker. Shogo is an unremarkable young man entering his third year of working in the planning department at Ihaku Soaps, a chemicals company headquartered in Sumida. Born in western Tokyo to an ordinary family around the same time as the birth of color TV, he grew up amidst the boom of special effects, heavy action films, anime, variety shows, professional baseball, and pop music. Shogo graduated from a famous private university in Tokyo and has since settled into an apolitical mindset, common among those of his generation, with no strong ideals and no particular dissatisfaction with the world as it develops around him. He is content to just go with the flow, having stumbled into his current position by pure chance, and it is safe to assume he will follow the stereotypical path of working his way up the ladder, starting a family and remaining at the same company until retirement. He plays folk guitar as a hobby and is currently looking for a girlfriend. Hmm. The storyteller, <laughs> the storyteller guides those who visit Paranormal Site. Everything else about him remains a mystery. Hmm. Breaking news. Oh? I wonder what it could be at such a time. Earlier this morning, the body of a drowned man was discovered at a park in Sumida City. Could it be the person of interest that we just read about? Yeah. Um, police have identified the body of Shogu Uki, a 25-year-old man who worked at a company in the area. As signs of a struggle were found, the Sumida police suspect foul play and have launched an investigation. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Please pay no mind to what you have just seen. Goodness, you very nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. Hmm... Wait, so are we trying to figure out how he died? Or like, to find his murder? Mur murderer? Murderer. Just pretend you did not see that. Let us turn back time a smidge and start again from there. Do you understand? You saw nothing. I don't know. You know nothing. We'll see. The story is a work of fiction. All locations, characters, organizations, legends, etc. that appear in this game have no relation to reality. Hmm. Wait, I wonder if we're gonna... 
Wait, are we going to play as him, maybe? Also, we're getting an ad. Uh, actually, I'm just going to run it right now um, before I start this whole thing. I don't want I don't want an ad to like be happening in the middle of something uh, important. So I'm not going to I'm not going to continue playing the game until the ads are over. Uh, you read some discussions or stuff. Wait, it was like one person's wish uh, power and then the other person gave the um, consequence or the negative effects and people were trying to find a wish that wouldn't be able to have. Yeah, it's like it's like when when you have, um, you know, with with uh, with genies and stuff. Or genies. Uh, like you can get three wishes. But it's usually not worth it because it's always going to lead to something bad anyway. So you need to be very, very, very specific about your wish. In case the they can find a loophole to make it into something you definitely wouldn't want to wish, uh, wish for. So you get to be a detective? I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we're going to like play as the person dying or... I don't, I don't think so, though. I don't know. <laughs> Please get out of our TV. Uh, stay in the TV, don't come out. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And then, unless it's the sleigh type of coming out, yeah, that's that's different. Better in there than in the house. <laughs> and even if the it wasn't evil, it could still have not wanted effects. Yeah, yeah. You were typing that out earlier, but the message was too long. Glad you had the same thought and said it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the, the, the most commonly known um, example, I guess, in like at least legends or myths or fairy tales or whatever. The one thing that most people would know about. But I am intrigued, though, with this game. Yeah, it's called the Paranormal Site, the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. So that means that we're probably going to have like seven different cases or something. Now we need to figure out. But now we're back from the ads. So now we can continue. Shogo? Shogo, are you alright? Hey, can you hear me? <gasps> Actually, I think I'm gonna use the, the mouse for this. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can use the mouse for this. Well, I mean, that's makes the most sense, but uh, I don't know. Huh? Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth to Shogo Oki. What do you think you're doing falling asleep here? You gave me quite the shock. Come on now. Up with you. Up. Okay, and there. How's that? All right. Feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off ba balance? <laughs> I'm fine, I think. There's definitely nothing wrong with my humors, though my head's still a little fuzzy. 
Yeah, we have we have been introduced. <laughs> uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk all right. When the game is in your control, uh, drag the screen or move the right stick to look around. Try looking around your surroundings now. Interesting. I didn't realize it was upside down and looked very unsettling. It looked like if <laughs> it looked like a face, but he was a face, but he was an upside down face. And knowing it's a horror game kind of makes you anticipate anything any moment. Yeah, I don't know anything about like if there's going to be jump scares or anything. Oh. I guess she was waiting for me to take the full <laughs> 360. Um, good, good. You seem to be fine. What a relief. Do you remember anything? Like, where we are? What we do? we were doing? Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna... S I don't wanna... I don't wanna put any thoughts into her head. What if she doesn't know what I'm talking about? Um... Oh no. You look so confused. You're messing with me, right? Stop it, you're scaring me. Alright, let's just calm down. Take a look, uh, take a good look around you, okay? Look around and select things you want to investigate. You can converse with people by selecting their faces. Hmm. Hmm, where are we? Alright, this is Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at... Kinshibori Park near Kinsh I clicked before I was ready to before I was finished reading. <laughs> Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. That explains why there's nobody else around. Uh one of the 23 districts of Tokyo, located in the eastern part of the city. It is surrounded by the Sumida, Arakawa, and Kunaka rivers. At the start of the Showa era, the area was still divided into two districts, the southern, southern Honjo and northern Mukojima, but they were merged into one district after the Second World War. It is said to be named after the Sumida River and the banks that line it. Unlike the river, however, its name uses the character uh, for ink rather than that of for corner, even though people still frequently mix up the two. Despite suffering extensive damage from both the Great Kanto earthquake and air bombings during the war, Sumida managed to recover and come out on top every time. Kinshibori Park. Mm. <laughs> if it's all, that wouldn't be, <laughs> would be fine, surely, yeah. You're taking precautions, making the screen smaller just in case. Mm. <laughs> to just said, and yeah, I don't, I don't really, I prefer to know as little as possible about games before I go into it. Uh, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> yeah, right here, right in your face, with with her face. Open 1950, conveniently close to Kin. Kinshicho, Kin Kin Kinshicho Station and surrounded on all sides by roads. This paved park is a popular spot for people to meet or relax. Kinshibori Park was named after the Kinshibori Canal, part of the South Warigesui <laughs> Canal, which could once be found nearby. In fact, the area's name Kinshichi Kinshi Kinshicho. Damn was also derived from the canal. <laughs> okay. The anticipation is making you so nervous and you're not even playing yourself. I am actually completely fine. Maybe it's because I I feel like because I'm it's it's a visual novel, it's not that scary. 
These telephone booths are all over town. The lights are always on so they can be used in an emergency. A small booth containing a public telephone, most often found in parks or along roads. Local telephone calls can be placed at a rate of 10 yen per three minutes. More recently, telephone booths capable of accepting prepaid cards known as a telephone card as telephone cards have begun to spread, enabling one to make a phone call without the need for small change. The telephone booths in the downtown area tend to be plastered with unauthorized, unauthorized advertisements and leaflets, a problem that has shown no signs of slowing down. Well, just in case she ends up in, in our face again when we turn around. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> That's an interesting looking playground. I bet it's crawling with kids during the daytime, but it's kind of peaceful here at night. Yikes, that was close. If we had died before we got our hands on the right of resurrection, everything would be over before we started. I'm still a little woozy. What the hell is wrong with me? There's a girl here. Hmm. Who is she? But there's clearly something else I need to interact with as well. But what would it be? That's why you feel like watching streams is a blessing and a curse. It feels more personal and kind of like you're playing along. More than watching your pre-recorded video does. But then you're also more on edge because you can't skip through parts of the video to avoid jump scares. Hmm. I feel like I haven't missed anything though. Do you have to rec click on recall again, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I needed to investigate her as well, I guess. <laughs> That's Yoko Fukunaga. Good, at least I can remember that much. I first met her about a month ago. She's 23, works as a housekeeper, and is really into the occult. If I think harder, I can probably recall a little more about what's going on. We've only met a few times, but we really hit it off. She's a lot of fun to be around. I have no idea how she feels, though. I get the sense she isn't thinking about me that way right now. But I know I've got a thing for bubbly girls who are into dark things like the occult. Hmm. Paranormal fanatic. <laughs> Yoko Fukunaga. Um... Let's see. After obtaining a junior college degree, Yoko started working as a housekeeper. Due to her ability to see things other cannot, she has received strange looks from a young age. Uh, this ability spurred an interest in the paranormal, which she continued to continues to pursue to this day. Following graduation, Yoko worked a desk job at a trading company, but butted heads with her supervisor, who was skeptical of the supernatural and quit within a year. Now, while working as a housekeeper, she spends her days devouring mystery magazines and visiting haunted spots. Uh, as she vowed to live true, as she vowed to live life true to herself and never change for the sake of others, Yoko has no regrets about the path she has taken. Yoko has a dog, a Shiba Inu named Ogopogo. 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 Who <laughs> has been by her side since she was a student. Hmm. Um, you were about to say earlier you have seen playthroughs, uh, a doki doki little literature club like years ago, and there was some stuff that you think if you watch nowadays, you would not really be able to watch. I mean, the 
type of things with some distorted images. Mm, I see. I haven't actually watched uh, any of it. I just know that it is supposed to be di like disturbing. Um, but I've deliberately not watched anything in case I'm I want to play it myself at some point. Can't believe how many horror game playthroughs you have actually watched like years ago. Hmm. You sometimes skip forward on YouTube scary videos on when the jump scare is, then go back to where you were. Uh, the most are not to you like that bad to watch, even if there was a couple of moments that were su super scary. But in general, you don't really like body stuff or horror generally either to talk about certain things because you start to get very uneasy feelings and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, for me, it's like... It's weird because I have a very high tolerance when it comes to body horror and, and gore and those types of things. Um, but I am not good with, with being chased. <laughs> I, I'm not good with being chased or... <sighs> I don't... Things that are, like, stressful. I guess. As long as I can take my time, I'm usually okay. Let me think. What can I remember? Okay, her name is Yoko Fukunaga. We met about a month ago. What's the deal with this park? It was around noon on one of my days off. I'd just finished running some errands in Kinshicho and was there taking a quick break. I was just looking around absentmindedly. And I noticed this girl loitering about. She was digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. She seemed to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. My curiosity got the better of me before long, and I struck up a conversation. Hey, are you looking for something? Huh? Ah! Sorry, I must look like a total weirdo. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm looking for something. If you want, I could give you a hand. Really? I mean, that'll be a huge help, but... But? Are you really just a good Samaritan? Or are you after, you know, something else? Hmm. Huh? What should we say, though? Because it's clear that he's, like... It literally said in his, um... Character information that he's looking for, like, a girlfriend and stuff. I feel like these are two very... I don't want to say any of them. <laughs> I feel like they're both... Not entirely true. I mean, I would... I'm ca I don't know what I'm what I should say. <laughs> um, you take them so literally, you think? Yeah, I'm very good at separating what I can see or smell or hear uh, from, like, my own body and my own, like... So nothing really puts me off. Like, that's why I can listen to things or see things, watch things one while I'm eating without it affecting me at all. But being chased is scary, but I don't think it's the most bad thing ever to you. Have you ever watched or played Corpse Party? It was made way before Doki Doki, and in your opinion, Doki Doki is like a tamer version of Corpse Party watching... Corpse Party messed you up for a while? <laughs> and you... <laughs> And you want- you would want me to play that instead? <laughs> Poor choices of words, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. 
and just stare awkwardly at her and don't say anything. Ugh, but uh, I'm just not sure because I, I feel like I don't want to say any of them. Like, this would be a lie. This would be more true. But I'm also like, I don't know if that is the reason why he's offering to help her. Like, it could just be because... I don't know. She seemed like she needed help. But it's like... Not a full-on Good Samaritan type of deal, you know? What would the character say? I don't know. I don't know him. <laughs> um... He's content to just go with the flow, hang stumble into his current position. Wait, what was the thing we read? Yeah, he plays folk guitar as a hobby and is currently looking for a girlfriend. Yeah. So I feel like the second one would make more sense but obviously you wouldn't just go and say that you know i don't i don't know i don't like any of them <laughs> i don't like any of these answers okay fine wait i'm just gonna say this because i don't want to lie and this is the past anyway, so- and she's still there, you know? So obviously it wouldn't have scared her away. So how could it be? How bad could it be to say the... Yeah, definitely the other- uh, fine, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Huh, you're funny. Hey, at least you're upfront about it. See? 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 <laughs> That's- that's how I hoped she would take it. Okay, I guess I'll let you help me. Be warned, you might regret what you've gotten yourself into. No worries. What are you looking for anyway? Did you lose a bra bracelet or something? Uh, not exactly. I'm searching for, uh, for one of the seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Canal. Ah, uh, the seven mysteries of Hanjo. So that is... Well, I guess it's not completely wrong that it's a part of the, like, a case to find all seven, but. <laughs> you would never want anyone to possibly go through it. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious if I'd ever watched or played it. No, I, I don't think I've even heard of it. That could mean different things depending on how you say it, yeah. If this was real life, she would have been so freaked out and walked away by now because we've just been standing here blankly staring at her for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the what? Now nah, I've done it. I bet you think I'm some kind of lunatic. See, if she was scared of him, she would think that that was a good thing to make him think she was a lunatic, you know? Because that's just a way to get rid of someone you don't want the attention of. The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Do you know anything about it? I figured everyone around here would have at least heard of it, but I guess not. Hanjo is what the southern part of Sumida is called. A long time ago, this part of Tokyo was split into two separate cities. The north part was Mukujima, and the south part, part was Hanjo. Huh? Uh, am I bo b boring you? <laughs> no? Well, I'm not a local or anything. I just work around here. Oh, then no wonder you didn't know. 
Well, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo is a legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Really? It's that old? That's like over 200 years ago. Oh, I got your attention after all. I just assumed it was one of those fake stories made up to chase the occult craze. Uh, I don't blame you. A lot of the popular stories going around are pretty fishy. But the seven mysteries of Hanjo are different because they're all true. They're true? That's what I said. They're the real deal. So, hold on. What does that mean? Are you telling me there's actually paranormal stuff at work in this park? Yep, pretty much. But there's got to be more to it. After all I've done, I still haven't found a thing. That was the first time I met Yoko Fukunaga. Hmm. An enduring superstition formerly known as Kinshibori, many fishermen once gathered on the section of the canal that ran through Hanjo. Uh, as their days came to a close and the fishermen gathered up their catches, a terrifying voice would rise up from the canal, whispering, Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Those who ignored the voice found themselves unable to move, and their previously full baskets of fish emptied. They would then be dragged into the canal, never to return. The strange phenomenon continued to occur, and the people began to call this body of water the Whispering Canal. Hmm. Sometimes it just takes time to think of a response. <laughs> uh, until this moment, to you, the spookiest or scariest moments have been the name thing, the up in the face and just anticipation. <laughs> You'll be not getting sick. No, don't get sick. Is this fictional location or based on real life, life location? I the, the locations are real. I'm pretty sure. Because they're talking about Tokyo and, and different uh, areas in Tokyo. So I think the locations are all real, but all the... Everything that has a name besides like actual geographic locations is probably just uh, made up. Like uh, their workplaces and stuff. The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Uh, Hanjo became known as a hotspot for strange happenings during the Edo period. Uh, a number of these stories have survived to this day and become known as the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. While many of these were likely the result of people blaming things they didn't understand on spirits or monsters, the stories continue to be told as urban legends. Despite what the name would imply, there are actually more than ten of these strange tales. The roots likely come from stories told by the city's common folk. The most famous of the stories is The Whispering Canal, which eventually became the basis for both an Id idiom and a well-known Rakugo story. The most famous of the seven mysteries, uh, The Whispering Canal, The Fool's Procession, The Beckoning Lights, The Haunting Clappers, The Evergreen Beach, The Taiko of Tsugaru, uh, The Foot Washing uh, Mansion. The Foot Washing Mansion? What? The One-Sided Reed and the ever-burning lantern. So all the, like, the seven mysteries of Hanjo are probably actual... It's probably... real. As in, like, it's probably an actual... thing, IRL. Mm, occult craze, paranormal phenomena, supernatural, aliens, cryptids, lost civilizations, ESP, the list goes on. Such ex unexplainable phenomena are quick to take on a life of their own. A plesiosaur, a pl plesiosaur, uh, <laughs> a plesiosaur named Nessie living in Loch Ness, sightings of mythical creatures like the Tsuchinoko or Hibagon, the urban legend of the Kuchisake Ona, television report, uh, tel television reports of spoon bending uh, psychics, documentary doc documentaries which feature mediums and spirit photography. 
These are only a few examples of stories that have captivated the public. There is no end to this obsession in sight, which, with magazines and paranormal phenomenon, enjoying widespread publication. Most recently, rumors of an ancient ritual known as the Rite of Resurrection have been spreading in certain circles. Hmm. You're not even joking that we're literally thinking the same thing because your nose started to hurt and you felt a weird tingle in your throat and we're thinking, better not be getting sick. Then you look back at chat and see your message thinking, it's, it's, it's very funny that you say, both of you say that because I was like, I feel kind of weird today, but not in like that type of sick, but it, it, like a type of sick, but not like coming down with anything. Um, but I was also thinking about it, but it's like, ah, it's probably something that's just going to pass uh, by the end of the night or something. We exchanged contact information, and we've talked on the phone a few times since. We've even met in person once or twice. But she never brought up the seven mysteries of Honjo again. I figured she'd gotten bored of it. Until today, when all of a sudden she decided to resume her search. Huh? Wait a second. Where did Yoko go? <gasps> where did, where did, where did Yoko go? Oh, she's there. According to Yoko, the Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Hanjo, is around here somewhere. It's apparently the story that the expression left at the canal originally comes from. I think I left myself a note about it. I should check my files. Hmm. I'm gonna talk to her. I just want to see if there's anything else to interact with that I haven't done yet. I switched over to my... <laughs> to my controller i didn't even think about it <laughs> it's just what i default to um that's right she asked me to come here to help her look for one of the seven mysteries actually i think i did some research into the mis uh, seven mysteries of hanjo i can't remember all too well should check my files oh we have all of them. Let's all get not sick. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> We're all sharing the same brain cell today. Yeah. I don't have anything with my throat. It's more like... I feel kind of weird. Like, in my stomach. But I don't know if it's a mental thing or a physical thing. I don't know. Sometimes it's like I can have a... Um... Like it's, it's, it's a mental thing that kind of manifests in a physical way sometimes, you know? I don't know if that's what it is or not because it's... Yeah. But yeah, the Fool's Procession. An enduring superstition, a mysterious tale reg uh, regaling an encounter had by a daimyo at this residence in Hanjo's Ushu Ushujima, now Komagata High School. Uh, when walking around his estate, he heard the sound of music, much like that of a Kagura performance. He commanded his people to find the source, but no matter how much they searched, the music would fade when one near the Warigesui Canal. The source of the sound was never located. The story is also known as the Procession of the Tanuki. <gasps> tanuki! As many aware of the belief that it must have been these mischievous tricksters. Mm, I can't talk. <laughs> Behind it all. Tanukis. Tanuki? Tanukis are raccoon dogs, I guess, is what, what it's called in English. The beckoning light, 
uh, an enduring superstition. While walking along the road near Ho Hoonji at night, one might spot a hazy lantern light up ahead, despite there being no one around. Following it will cause it to go out suddenly when getting near, but just when one fears the darkness might swallow them up, another light will appear further ahead, as if guiding the one who sees it. Some say the flame is benevolent, leading people to their homes, while others believe it is a monster leading people astray. Some even believe it's the vengeful spirit of someone that died, luring the ghost to the land of the dead. Not ghost. Luring the lost to the land of the dead. Tom Nook from- Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Tom Nook is, is a tanuki. He's a tanuki, that's true. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Um, the haunting clappers. Hmm. As the evening bell rings in Iriicho near present-day Shumoki Bridge, a night watchman patrols the dark streets and announces his presence by shouting warnings about fires, all the while striking his wooden clappers. Tonight, the sound of another set of clappers answers back. He curiously claps his clappers together again. Clack, clack. The echo answers again, but no matter how hard he searches for the source of this second pair of clappers, he never finds it. Some say it was the work of a mischievous tanuki or kitsune, while others say it was a warning from the spirit of someone who lost their life in a terrible fire. Hmm. I didn't know the tanukis was also, were also considered to be mischievous, like a kitsune, but... The Evergreen Beach. Once upon a time in North Ukur Okurabashi, a beautiful beech tree stood in the garden of Lord Shinden's residence, now known as the former Yashida Gardens. It was so impressive that the house became known among the people as the beach residence. Somehow, no one had ever seen a single leaf fall from the tree. As rumors spread of the eternal, eternally green tree, it became known as the Evergreen Beach. However, this particular species of tree was actually an evergreen, so the lack of fallen leaves was nothing out of the ordinary. This had led people to say that the strangest part of this legend is the fact that it even became a legend at all. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> kind of silly. <laughs> the Taiko o Tsugaru. There once was a daimyo from the Ho... Hirosaki Domain in Sugaru, who built a residence in Midori, uh, Midoricho. Wait, Midoricho. Midoricho. I don't know. On a large piece of the land. Uh, on this estate was an almost 8 meter tall tower that served as a lookout for fires. Only a designated firefighter was allowed to use the large drum that resided at atop the tower in the, e in the event of a fire. While most towers used wooden blocks to sound the fire alarm, for some reason this residence was permitted to use drums. The residence and its special privileges led to much speculation and gossip among the townfolk. Townsfolk. Um... You actually think real life tanukis are way cuter than Tom Nook? Yeah, I. They are. <laughs> they are. Uh, but I'm also like, I'm not really a fan of, of, um. Like the design. Uh, or like the. The type of animation. Like low poly stuff or, or stuff like that either. That is used in, in Animal Crossing. So I usually don't find them too cute anyway, but I don't know. The Foot Washing Mansion. <laughs> uh, this is the story of something that occurred in the dead of night in a residence in Mikasacho, modern day South Wadigisui Street in Kamizawa. A foul smelling wind rattled the house. Suddenly a giant foot drenched in blood Smash through the ceiling. Wash, it commanded. Wait, is this like one of one of Dadman's wet dreams or something? 
After the servants carefully washed the foot, it returned from whence it came, fixing the roof it had broken. A man who had been visited by the foot every night asked a friend to trade houses with him. That night, the foot stopped appearing. Interesting. The one-sided reed. Uh, there was once an infamous rogue by the name of Tumezo, who fell for a woman named Okoma. Tomezo persistently chased after Okoma, attempting to win her heart over and over again, but she rejected his advances each time. Enraged by her indifference to him, Tomezo brought a dagger to a canal near Ryogoku Bridge and attacked Okoma. He cut the arm and leg off one side of her body and then threw them into the canal. Ever since then, the reeds growing along that canal have only sprouted leaves on one side. That's kind of interesting. The Ever-Burning Lantern is the last one. On a bone-chilling winter's night, one may happen upon a soba cart along the canal known as South Wadigazui. Uh, but there is something strange about this cart. No matter when one might visit, its owner is nowhere to be found. Yet the lantern that hangs from it stays perpetually lit, burning brightly even with no oil to fuel it. Should one attempt to put out the flame, it immediately roars back to life. However, there is also the tale of the never-burning lantern, another telling of the story in which the soba cart's lantern always remains dark, refusing to be lit. Mm. It's better to be safe than sorry, as long as you're not taking them all the time, it shouldn't hurt to take just in case. Yeah, it's also, if you take too many uh, pills and stuff, it, it will also lose its effect. So that's also why it's good to not take them too often, because it will kind of start to... or stop losing its effect. Uh, generally don't like taking a lot of medicine things, like the regular ones for headaches or other stuff, so there shouldn't be any problem taking too much or many. That's good. That is good. I'm the same way. I don't like it either, but if I need to, I do. There she is. She's back to digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. She seems to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. No animal needs that much petting. Ah, uh, that's not true. Is there something else we need to interact with them? Hmm. Because I think we've, uh checked out all of it now. Oh, I just needed to click on her again. <laughs> According to Yoko, the Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Hanjo, is around here somewhere. It's apparently the story that the expression left of the canal originally came from, uh, com comes from. I think I left a note about it, I should check my files. Well, I have already done that. But if you want me to check again... Oh wait, she's coming back this way. Hey, what was that just now? Huh? Didn't you hear that? I would never say you're hearing things, but I also didn't hear anything. But I'm still gonna say now that you mention it. <laughs> I did feel like I heard something. Not too sure though. 
Hmm, that was creepy. But your special talents, you should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. <laughs> that type of spirit? <laughs> huh? I have no idea what drinking has to do with it, but I don't think so. Hmm? Well, you must. I mean, you can see me, right? Is she a ghost? Huh? One AM Kinshi Bori Park. Interesting. I feel like you're hearing things is kinda of like when taking things literally, it's kinda of funny. Hmm. Yeah, that's how hearing works. Exactly. <laughs> um I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits and the paranormal at this time of night. Either she's got guts, or she's just used to it. Unless... No, it can't be. I've gotten most of my memory back, but I still feel a little bit out of it. Unless this is after we died, or like he died. Maybe this is after he died, and she, seeing as she has powers, you know, supernatural, um, like she can see uh, spirits and stuff. Maybe, maybe that's why she's talking to 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 him because we're already dead. Because he was supposed to die anyway, you know. Wait, wait, wait. You're kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. I kinda, it kind of sounded like you were saying that only people with spirit sense can see you. Of course that was a joke. Duh. You don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? But yeah. I meant what I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole grim <laughs> gimlet in one gulp. Seriously. That's the real reason I asked you to help me with the seven mysteries of Honjo business. Okay, let me just clarify something. Are you saying you can actually see paranormal stuff? Sure, I could handle a solid Moscow mule. That's not the same as paranormal. Is this just a weird translation thing? Because spirits is like alcohol. No, 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 these are names of drinks. <laughs> these are drink names. <laughs> Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have to have seen some weird stuff over the years, right? Weird stuff? Yeah, like... Things you could see, but could never understand? You can't be serious. No, 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 it's not Orion. It's only spirit. Uh, but that's why I was like... Seeing as it's originally a Japanese game, is this like a, an Aryan <laughs> translation or something? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. I guess we just need to talk to her again. Uh, about alcohol. <laughs> totally unrelated, but do you actually drink real alcohol, I mean? Oh, talk about whiplash. I didn't expect you to start making small talk. Well, our conversation was getting a bit dark. 
I figured a change of topic might lighten things up. Oh, I see. If you really want to know, I like to think I can handle a few drinks. But to tell you the truth, I never actually had a Moscow mule. Really? No? Ah, if I just thought it sounded- uh, I just thought it sounded cool. I'd like to try it, though. Why don't we go for a drink sometime, then? Oh, are you asking me out? I'll ask you we're after something else. I mean, I didn't lie. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Ah, just kidding. Yeah, I'd be up for that. But only if we find one of the seven mysteries. All right, let's go. Uh, then let's go and get to work. Um. Yeah, Moscow Mule is an actual drink. Hmm. Oh, I need to talk. I need to click on her head to speak to her. <laughs> About the seven mysteries of Hanjo. I just remembered. I actually did some research on the seven mysteries of Hanjo at the library. You did? What did you find? Well, I discovered a few interesting things. Oh, tell me everything. Seven mysteries? Although they're called the Seven Mysteries, the literally, uh, literally, uh, the literature lists nine of them. Oh, I'm surprised you picked up on that. Nice researching. Some people think there could be up to 15. That's the thing about these old folk tales. Stuff gets added to them over the years. That's more extra stories than main ones. Yeah, but the seven mysteries roll rolls off the tongue way better than nine or fifteen. If you say so. But it makes sense, don't you think? It's more likely to be passed on if it's easy to remember. Huh, that's a good point. What about the seven mysteries of Hondo caught your attention? Are these really ghost stories? So I read some of the stories and none of them were, well, scary. I thought they were supposed to be ghosts. These were supposed to be ghost stories. Hmm. And this seems like a horror situation to you. They say things they don't mean or like say it as a joke and you can't understand when it's a joke and when genuine. Hmm. You're thinking that it's kind of a code work word for the drink, but I guess... Meaning, you guess it's just the, its name then? Yeah, it's just the name of an actual drink, so... I think she was just making a funny about... Talking about spirits and then... I don't know. I don't know. But that's true. They're more like a collection of superstitions, really. But there's some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah, like the one that's supposed to take place here. The Whispering Canal. People who fished in this canal would hear a voice call out saying, leave it. They had to abandon their catch or the canal would take it. Right, right. Is that what you're expecting to find here in this park? Um, not quite. We're talking about a folktale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries uh, of the telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story. So basically, you think the true story of the Whispering Canal might be completely different from what we know? Exactly. I'm sure it is. I mean, weren't you curious? About what? People from around here have that expression, left at the canal, right? Meaning to abandon someone. The story is where it comes from. Except the story being told today is about fish. There's nothing in it about leaving people behind. Now that you mention it, that's true. So you're saying the original story maybe... Maybe did involve someone being abandoned. That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, gotcha. Hmm. That is kind of a thing that you can understand, puns and wordplay. Hmm. Yeah, 
that's that's also like uh, yeah yeah it, it was it was def uh, it it was kind of like a pun yeah. <laughs> hey scoot, I will take some water. Her saying they can only go out for a drink after they solve one mystery made you imagine that IRL. Like how horrifying would it be if the reward for doing your job was just a date? Like they worked 60 hours this week, boss. Can I have my paycheck? No, but you can go on a date with me. <laughs> well, this is this isn't job related though, so And he he um He volunteered, like he He said he would help her, so <laughs> Or asked if she wanted help, so. You were good. You made noms? What did you make? Is it a dating sim game? I mean, it could be. <laughs> dating spirits and stuff. About spirit sense. I've seen ghost photos in magazines before, but are you telling me they really exist? You bet they do, but you can only recognize them if you really believe in them, so be careful. So even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt that they exist? That's right. The spirit world is all about the mind and the soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you're properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment, thinking they might see something, and then they really do, because they believe they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You'll never know how much booze you can handle on your, unless you're ready to down some shots. Hmm. That's, that's a weird comparison, I have to say. <laughs> Spicy chicken and rice? Nice. Rice, nice. That's not wrong, but you also don't recommend it. Yeah, yeah. I'm still not sure I get the drinking thing. Uh, you know, I realized how strange it was as the words left my mouth. Sheesh. Yeah. Uh, more about spirit sense? And if you can believe that, there might be hope for you yet. You can't be serious. <laughs> um... About the right of resurrection. Oh, by the way, were we talking about the right of resurrection? Oh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm gonna start calling you Martini Man Shogo. Okay. I'm really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So you know about it, huh? The right of resurrection. A magazine ran a feature on it recently that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? Maybe that's where I heard about it. Still, I don't know. It seems a little too far-fetched to be true. So, the rite of res resurrection. It's the forbidden art of bringing the dead back to life. Concocted by a famous one Myoji from an ancient age. Rumor has it an old manuscript containing actual concrete details about the rite was recently discovered. This rumor comes from a presentation given by local historian Hideki Araishi at an academic conference. You sure know a lot about this stuff. That's because I'm secretly a huge occult buff. I mean, uh, we can tell. I kind of got that, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she is not amused. <laughs> she, she is not amused. But if a researcher spoke about it at an academic conference, it must have some basis in fact. Exactly. That's why I believe the right of resurrection is real. Now I'm starting to believe it too. Good. The pursuit of the unknown starts with a belief. I got that from Professor Araishi himself. Hmm... I know I, s I keep switching between uh, doing like a rolling R and not rolling R, but <laughs> it's just sometimes it's easier to say with it and other times it's easier to not say it with it, so. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. I see, I see. Um... You still have flashbacks to a time you, you played a drinking game where you took a shot anytime someone got an achievement in Minecraft on a 30 people server that had just been refreshed? Oh no. There's really a lot of double meanings with the ghost supernatural stuff and the drinking things. Yeah. <laughs> it just made you think of it in terms of work and how awful that would be, especially when you think of your former bosses. Go on a date with any of them literally horror game scenario. Yeah, I... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. <laughs> you wish you could play drinking games, but like not with drinking the alcohol, just the games. Well, you could always switch it out with something else, right? <laughs> you can do the drinking games, but sw switch it out with uh, something else. You absolutely can. Most of them are just as fun without the booze. Hm. As she was doing our kitty emote face, yeah. We're getting an e uh, I was gonna say we're getting an emote. We're getting an <laughs> we're getting an ad. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna take a short break during the ad, uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit.
I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. Careful. In future, you can't just stick your hand in every strange hole you come across. Careful. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the 120 bits. No, 125 bits. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took a little while longer than I expected because I, I, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of weird, but like not in, not in a way that I need to end or anything, but I just feel weird. Oh, now look, you've scared off the little snack. <laughs> you calling yourself snacks? You should. You should. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> You're too kind. You're too kind. Thank you. You said run! And I scared you guys away. And then you said scared off the little snacks. So that means you, you're calling yourself snacks. Don't talk yourself out of that one. <laughs> But thank you for the bits, Ryan. You, you're sweet. You're sweet. Uh, but the rite of resurrection, as indicated by its name, its manuscript holds detailed instructions on how to perform the secret art of reviving the dead. This forbidden ritual is said to have been devised by a once famous 
on Miyoji. Local researchers, uh, researcher Hideki Araishi recently discovered the old manuscript and gave a presentation on it at an academic conference, sending ripples through the fields of occult studies. Hmm. You can't get the duck song out of your head. <laughs> waddle waddle. Ed, I didn't even see that you said it right. <laughs> Uh, wait, hang on. I've got another question. Hmm? You mentioned the right of resurrection. Are you looking for that too? Does it have something to do with the seven mysteries of Hanjo? Oh, you're sharp. I should cut my finger on you. Is that your idea of flirting? I don't know. To tell the truth, it's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm, well... I started off searching for the rite of resurrection. But along the way, I realized what I needed to investigate this, that I needed to investigate the seven mysteries of Hanjo first. I see. So then... Hmm... What's that got to do with the seven mysteries? So, about the connection between this rite and the Seven Mysteries. Putting together everything we've talked about. I guess it's that the original stories behind the Seven Mysteries, the true stories, are the key to finding the rite of resurrection. And that's why you're here searching for one of them? Do I have that right? Wow, 10 out of 10! You're proving to be quite the capable assistant! Wait, since when was your, <laughs> since when was I your assistant? Anyway, this is all just hearsay, but some say that what led to the seven mysteries coming to be was the rite of resurrection itself. Now that would make sense, wouldn't it? Huh? Don't the stories come from the Edo period? I thought the rite of resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Well, they don't have to have started at the same time, do they? And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been years since I listened to it as well. <laughs> right. It seems that the Onmyoji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. That old manuscript I mentioned with all the details on how to use the rite, apparently it was written in the Edo period. Oh right, I never told you its name. The manuscript is called the Record of Fates. Oh, what a name. And it speculates that the secret of the rite is hidden within the Seven Mysteries of Anjo. So now, the Seven Mysteries are, hot, are, the, are the hot new trend. <laughs> Among who? You know, this whole thing's starting to sound pretty questionable. Come on, remember what I said about the pursuit of the unknown? It starts with belief, right? Hmm. The Record of Fates, an old manuscript from the Edo period written by the sorcerer who re- who recovered the right of resurrection. It is viewed as a priceless and authentic document due to its detailed account on how to perform the ritual. Why are you looking for the right? I was hoping that I could ask both. If you're looking into a way to bring someone back from the dead, does that mean you've got someone you want to bring back? Um, you know what? Forget it. It just came to mind, so I thought I'd ask. I didn't mean to pry, sorry. No, it's fine. I figured I need to tell you at some point. It's... Pogo Pogo. <gasps> it's her dog! Is she trying to bring back her dog? 
But didn't they specify that the right of the the of resurrection was only like for one moment? I feel like that would be even worse. Like if you could bring it back for good, that's that's understandable. But if you could only bring it back for a little bit, like one moment, and then just disappeared again, I feel like that would be even worse. You know? At least I I do. <laughs> You think it would depend? Because like, with with a human, I guess it makes sense in in the way that you know, what if there was something you needed to ask them that was really important, for example, or if you needed to tell them something, you know, what if you something happened that made you have to like, you feel like you you wanted to apologize to them for something or or make something up to them, even though they're dead, but you know, like, just for your own peace of mind. Or... Or... You needed answers to something that was really important, that this person was the only... This was the only person who could answer that question. Then being able to resurrect them for just a moment would make sense. But with a... With an animal like that, it's like, I feel like that would be more painful, because then it would be like... Well, now they're definitely going to be gone, you know? <laughs> but it's like, it doesn't... I feel like it would just hurt even more. Why wouldn't the stuff... Because the animal wouldn't understand it anyway. Not in the same way. Because being able to tell how they would react to it as well is a part of it, you know? What if the, 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 the person you brought back didn't accept your apology, you know? I don't know. And that is mainly for the person doing the thing. No, but that that's what I'm saying. Their reaction would also matter. Because if it was only to let them know, it's like, they're already dead anyway. It's not like it's going to matter in that sense. Because you could still apologize without actually seeing them face to face. But it's more like getting some sort of confirmation. Getting some feedback in a way. Very, But it is. It is. That's why I also wouldn't want to. But I'm just saying in, in the, the sense that it would... would be useful, you know? Ogopogo? <laughs> yeah, I want to bring Ogopogo back to life. He died in an accident about a month ago. Hmm. I guess in that way, it could probably be a little bit more understandable then, because she didn't get to say goodbye, maybe? Does it have to be useful in that sense? I feel like it would be because otherwise it would only be more painful. If it's only, if it's if it wouldn't be in a practical situation to bring someone back. If it was only an emotional or you know an emotional reason behind it, then that would just hurt even more. Is what I'm thinking, at least. Ogopogo died? Alright, Ogopogo wasn't my dog. I had him for eight years. Ah, okay. Your dog. Gotcha. You spent a long time together. Losing him must have been really hard for you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if the right even works on dogs. But as soon as I found out about it, I knew I had to give it a try. I don't think I would forgive myself if I just let the opportunity pass by. Definitely. Now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. Thanks for telling me. 
I know this must be hard to talk about. Hmm, but you know what? All that led to me meeting you. So at least something good came out of it. That's true, that's true. But if it was an emotional reason like that, they would probably wouldn't, wouldn't be able to think that it could just be more painful. But if you have to go through so much trouble to be able to do it, then you would have to have some rational thinking involved as well, and not just emotional. Because this seems to be requiring a lot of work. So it wouldn't just be something you did on a whim. If it was something you did on a whim, that could probably be a little bit different. Though that doesn't mean I'll stop looking, obviously. Yoko. I'll do everything I can to help you. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. Let's keep up the hard work then, yeah? Whoa. What the hell? It feels like the air just changed. I think. I mean, we can always think. <laughs> what was that just now? Hmm. Oh. Why is she pointing at me? I feel ice on my back. I can't move. Oh no. Is there something behind me? Do I have to turn around? I don't want to turn around. <laughs> Yoko, are you okay? I, I don't think she's okay. Hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, this, this can't be. No, no. <gasps> oh no, I have to turn around. There's nothing here. Something's got Yoko really rattled. There wasn't even anything there. What? <gasps> oh no. What is she seeing that I'm not seeing? Yoko, Yoko! It's no use. She's in no condition to talk. Well, I don't... What does that mean? Am I supposed to interact with something, then? Oh! <gasps> Yoko's pointing at- well, I, I didn't mean to- hold on. Yoko's pointing over the- uh, here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Still, she looks really spooked. I doubt she's making the, this up. Damn, did I miss it? Don't see anything I should be frightened of. Oh, damn. Ugh, I don't get this. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? Oh. She's possessed. Is she dead? She's crying and drooling. Huh? What the? What is... Something's... 
What is it? Why is this happening? What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, now we're doing the opposite and now we're going to be her. Yoko. Answer me. Yoko. No way. It can't be. Why? Why? Gotta calm down. Calm down, damn it. You don't know she- oh, no, we didn't switch. Uh, you don't know she's dead. You're not a doctor. It's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. Maybe they wanted that extra $2 an hour. Uh, oh! Well, what the hell just happened? No, oh, damn it. I got bigger problems. Yoko, just hold on. Everything's going to be okay. Oh god, she's not breathing. She's cold. And I don't feel a pulse. This can't be happening. Okay, okay, okay. An ambulance, right. I've got to call an ambulance. I need a phone. Well, we do have a phone booth. Right, the phone. I've got to call an ambulance. I called it in. The ambulance shouldn't be long, but is it going to make a difference? Her body's gone stiff and her skin is cold, and I don't think she's breathing. She looks more like a mannequin than a person now. I don't think there's any coming back from that. I don't get it. Just a few minutes ago, we were chatting away without a care in the world. Yoko. How did this, this happen? How could someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly drop dead? Resurrect her. Oh no. Are we gonna use the... Well, see, in this instance... Maybe we need to resurrect her to get answers to what she saw. So this is a practical reason to use it, you know? Huh? Oh, that's right. If that right of resurrection she was talking about really does exist, there might be a way to bring her back. If someone can just drop dead out of nowhere, like, like they were cursed, then why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back to life? Yoko believed in it, so if I believe in her, it seems completely possible. Maybe, just maybe, I can still save her. Even if I got to deal with the spirit senses and curses and whatever, I gotta try. Wait for me, Yoko. I promise I'll use the rite of resurrection to bring you back. Right before she died, I felt a strange presence a few times. And it seemed like she saw something. Something that shook her to the bone. There's definitely something strange going on. And maybe still, it's still here. What could she have seen? She mentioned that the Rite of Resurrection and Seven Mysteries were connected. So maybe, whatever it was she saw... ...had something to do with wh that Whispering Canal. Whoa. Damn. 
damn it, that presence again. It must be around here somewhere. But where? There's something here, I know it. I just need to look harder. Although, if some innocent poking about uh, poking around about the seven mysteries was enough to get Yoko killed, there's a good chance of the same thing happening to me. But I already knew that when I decided to get involved. Hmm. You did see a glimpse, and while you don't think to you it was too bad, you just can't with the anticipation of something worse. Hmm. Yeah. The cold night air feels like it's pressing down on me. Just standing here makes me want to scream, but I've got bigger problems right now. Oh, it's the, the same everywhere. I've called an ambulance already. It should be here soon. Oh, of course. I don't know how it took me so long to realize. This has to be some weird prank she's playing. <laughs> I don't think so. Any second now, she's going to open her eyes, get up and have a good laugh at how scared I was. Right, Yoko? You can give it up now. Boy, did I fall for that one. You really got me good. Yeah, good, good prank. Wait, no, I got it. You really were some sort of spirit all along. There's no way you're really dead, right? I'm not even fooling myself anymore. There's no going back, only forward. I'm just wondering if there will be any different type of surroundings that I need to interact with. But I, I... Oh! Fallen object, I didn't see that. Huh? There's something on the ground. Did Yoko drop this? I didn't notice it till now, but there's a small wooden sculpture by her side. And it's a fish! In a basket. It's about the canal. It's three or four centimeters tall. It looks like it could be a keychain, but from how rotted it is, it's way too old for that. Despite how tiny it is, I feel an almost palpable malice radiating from it. What the hell is this thing? Curstone acquired the Whispering Canal. <gasps> Who are you? What the? Why? Help me. Leave me. It hurts. Drop. Drop, drop dead, is what it says. Are these... The Whispering Canal's memories? Such deep sorrow. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Turn their backs, they walk away, leave me behind, drop dead, kill them, kill them. Those who walk away, kill them all. 
You have acquired the power of the Cursed Stone, the Whispering Canal. You can use it to kill those who walk away from you. Use the Use Curse button to kill your target as they attempt to depart. I have to kill people now? A murderous impulse seeps into your soul like thick black tar. Now. Kill. Can you hear it, Curse Bear? You, who so strongly desired the right. Kill them. Should you seek life's rest restoration? Take your curse in hand. Reap lives by the score. And claim their soul dregs for your own. Collect enough to sate this vessel. And by their sacrifice, claim the gift of resurrection. Or better yet, slay your fellow curse bearers. For theirs are the equal of droves of lesser souls. Now go forth and kill. Open updates page. Soul dregs. She looks friendly. <laughs> Um, your house is haunted by a chicken, a poultry geist, a foul spirit. So you plan to call an exorcist to help it cross to the other side. Good one, Scoot. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Danman would be proud of that one. She's not getting her sleep, yeah. <laughs> No getting sick. No getting sick. Yeah, soul dregs. When someone dies, their, their life essence leaves the body and becomes a soul. If one is killed by means of certain curses, however, their life essence will turn into a residue known as soul dregs. The rite of resurrection essentially uses these soul dregs as a sacrificial offering to bring back the dead. But the amount of soul dregs required depends on when the person being resurrected passed away. The more time has passed since their passing, the more soul dregs are required. Okay, so if we're gonna bring her back, we need to be... We need to make sure that we kill as fast as possible then, because we won't need as many then? Maybe? Curse stones. Old Netsuke carvings imbued with curses derived from the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Ordinarily, only those with spirit sense can wield such curses, but these curse stones allow ordinary people to use them just as lethally. Mm -hmm. Curse Echoes, Curse Bearers. Curse Echoes are the visual manifestations of curses. These manifestations are fundamentally related to the origin of the curse. They do not always take the same shape, and may sometimes appear in a more abstract or disfigured form. They lack consciousness, unlike a spirit, and are thus the mere dregs of a soul. Curses are made tangible by what are known as soul dregs. Someone possessed by a curse that has a curse echo is called a curse bearer. A curse echo is in itself a curse, and a possessed curse bearer can inflict that curse upon others at will. A curse that comes with a curse echo is considered very powerful in and of itself. Ordinarily, those with no spirit sense would not be able to perceive a curse echo, but anyone who becomes a curse bearer can see other curse echoes. I'm I'm gonna admit I just understood like half of what I just read. What the hell was that? It was like the curse's memories flow directly into my mind. In an instant. I understood everything. When I picked up this curse stone, 
the Whispering Canal must have cursed me. I also heard a strange voice. It told me that if I want the right, I have to kill a bunch of people with this curse stone and collect their souls. I guess it's good to know that the right really exists. But this thing wants me to kill people to get it? Screw that. Putting my own life on the line is one thing. Murdering other people is another thing entirely. And not just one person either. Scores, it said. So this is the curse of the Whispering Canal, huh? A curse that traps the soul of anyone who tries to walk away from me. But... If I use it... And collect enough souls... Then I'll be able to bring Yoko back. Dude, you've known her for a month. And there was something about other curse bears being worth more soul dregs. Jeez. I'm really at a loss here. Now I've got my own curse stone. And the curse of the Whispering Canal. I'm in way over my head. Was Yoko the one who dropped this curse stone? Does that mean she was the previous owner of the Curse of the Whispering Canal? Then, did she know what the Rite of the Resurrection involved? I don't think she was the one who dropped it, but... <laughs> it feels like I'm being watched. Is someone there? Where are you? Oh! That is something. I'm just gonna... I just wanted to see if there was anything new here. Huh? The hell is that? Looks like a light floating in midair. Is the thing like is it safe to see? I am for now, yeah. I can't say for how long, but it is safe now. <laughs> oh, there's a man. It looks kind of normal though. Now that I look closer, is there someone there? It's kind of difficult to say if I should call out, because then it's like... This is probably not just some random person. But like, what is gonna be staying silent gonna help me with? Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try... I don't, I just don't want to die, but... <laughs> now nah, it's probably fine. I'm gonna call out. Hey, who's there? Normal. Normally, I would never do this in like a horror situation. Like when, when you know, you're in a movie. Well, when you're watching a movie, and you like people like, why are you, why are you yelling in, at people, and asking who's there? You're only gonna reveal your location, you know. But here it's fine because they can already see us. Hey, who's, who's there? Uh, man. <laughs> oh my. How unexpected. It was your curse that killed that poor woman, I take it. No, it wasn't. What? Cat got your tongue, Mr. O'Key. Huh? I didn't do that. That man, who is he? He looks to be in his mid, uh, like he looks to be in his thirties or forties. He's all dressed up in a suit and tie. But somehow he looks really, sh real shady. What is he doing here? Was he watching us all this time? Something tells me curses are nothing new to him. I mean, 
it, it could be because he, he mentioned it himself, so... If he's one of the other curse bears, then I need to be careful. He might be here to kill me and take my curse stone. Ah, uh, see, see, now they're making it... it it's not as easy as just refusing to, to use the right of resurrection or use the curse that you, you have. Because now it's like, if I don't do it, what if this dude is going to kill me instead, you know? You don't really care for cat purse, actually. Sometimes they feel too much. Like, you don't mean all or every time, but you don't know. Really? That's interesting, because I feel the same way about dogs. <laughs> but it's like, I... I get really annoyed by, by dogs barking. Cats? I love cats purring. Uh, but yeah, he might be here to kill me and take my curse stone. But by the same token, killing him will net me a, a lot of soul dregs. Hmm. Who are you? And how do you know my name? Do you mean to say you don't recognize me? This comes as a bit of a shock, I must say. Look a little harder, and I dare say it will jog your memory. What's with this guy? A tall, humorless looking man. He doesn't look familiar to me. He's acting like he knows me though. Have we met somewhere before? Oh, it's coming closer. Is this another one of the seven mysteries? It looks like a will-o'-wisp, maybe. Was there anything like that in the seven mysteries? Not exactly that, no. Let us read and see if we have anything. No, he, he doesn't show up here. Um... Let's challenge him to an old-fashioned round of fisticuffs. <laughs> Some dog barks can also be very bad for your ears as well. Mm. Cleo is here! <gasps> Cleo Catra! Say hi to her. Finally, I play a dating sim. Well... Uh... I mean, it looked like that for a little bit, but then... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How are you doing, Palm? Anything when overstimulated or overwhelmed can also feel like too much. Dude, that was me before... Um, well, it wasn't right before stream. It was earlier. Um, I was having streams open and stuff. And all of a sudden, it just hit me. I, that has never happened to me before that immediately. But it was just on the second. Like, that... It took one second to just fully shift to where I just had to turn off all sound. Usually it can it, it usually happens gradually with me. But that one was like I need to I need to shut it down right away. Like now. One second ago it was fine. A second later <laughs> nothing nothing. I don't want any sounds at all. I needed to have everything quiet. Um You want a punchy mode as well? I've actually considered it, but it's uh I don't- I don't know if I- uh, I don't know if I have the skills for that. <laughs> um... You probably have COVID? You got some shit done today? Don't get COVID? Why is everyone getting sick? Worked on your NES, Jason mask, and axe and stuff. Oh, that's good. That's good. No, we're not social distancing enough if we're all getting sick or getting- or, or feeling sick. Yeah. 
You gotta go to school? But it's weekend now. It's Saturday. I kissed you. No. <laughs> we are him. You love dogs so much, but they're very overwhelming for you. Hearing why is because you have sensitive ears, but also the high energy jumping up on you and being super excitable is so stressful and overwhelming. Like, obviously, that's not the case with well-behaved, calm dogs. And it doesn't mean you don't love dogs. They're just a lot for your senses. That's exactly what I'm saying as well, Black Cats. It's like, I love the idea of a dog. But in reality, I can't handle it because it's too much. And even when I was a kid, I... Sometimes I was scared of dogs because they were so, like, I was kind of small and then if they were like big dogs and stuff and they were just really ha happy to see you and stuff, I just, um, I kind of got a little bit scared. <laughs> Even though I knew that they weren't like angry or, or like aggressive. And that has always been the case for me as well. I, I just... Sensory-wise, dogs are too much for me. Both sound and smell. Um, and also, like, I have a, I have a very, strong aversion when it comes to like dogs licking uh, people's faces and stuff. If people, if I see a dog licking someone's face. I have to turn away right away. I can't watch it. I don't know why, but it's always grossed me out so much. I just have to turn away. <laughs> and uh, if it happens to me, no, uh, I, I, no, no, I can't, I can't handle it. You can't socially distance if you gotta go to school. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, play the game in the middle of the night? <gasps> Wait! It it just... Did you see that? Did you see that? The achievement popped up and it just turned... Like, it's midnight on the dot. It just became midnight. And I got an achievement now because... <laughs> it struck midnight on the... On the dot. That was... <laughs> That's so funny. Oh... Uh... It's kind of creepy, but uh, you know, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. <laughs> Has Shogo kissed Yoko? No, she died. We were trying to date her though, but she died. Before we got that far. Sometimes it's just also how the dogs are trained. There's surprisingly many dog owners who actually don't know a lot as well because they seem like very easy and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. One of the few dogs that I tolerate that I've met uh, is my, my, my aunt's dog because she is very, very calm. And it was also my neighbor's dog. She also had... The, Funny enough, both of these dogs were Border Collies. So Border Collies, I have I have to say I'm a little bit biased towards them because they always end up being so calm and chill and nice. Really kind dogs. So I do end up really liking them. Um... But then they have to have owners who know how to train them. Because if you don't know how to train them, they will be a disaster because they're so intelligent. I think they're like the most intelligent race, uh, dog race. So you need to know what you're doing. Training one. But if you do know how, then they are the best, some of the best dogs. <laughs> uh, thank you, Palm. Oh, Chiba wasn't visible? Wait, it isn't? But it's supposed to be. That's weird. I thought 
it showed up on on uh, OBS as well. Interesting. Well, I can show you here. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, play the game in the mi middle of the night. When you had cats, they're your sisters. There were a few things that if they, when you get your own cats, you have to discuss about stuff. Like you don't really like that the cat sand thing go everywhere and it feels not very nice at all. We don't know if that is like a cat specific or like sand specific or something. Yeah, I mean, I don't have, uh, I don't have uh, sand or like a litter box for my cats. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think- I don't think I had anything, um, about this. It's creeping me out, but it's staying put for now. Should probably leave it be. I'm just a little bit scared of, like, turning away from him, because... I mean, I know that was my curse to, if I turned away. Hmm. Also, I can feel that the controller is vibrating sometimes, but I don't know. just use the controller instead for a bit. I feel like it's better to let me know if something is happening more. I still don't have a clue who you are. How do you know me? How we met? Dear me, it is always humbling to find that one is not as well known as one believes. Perhaps my name will help you remember. I'm Takumi Yumioka. Takumi Yumioka? Does that ring any bells? I think I've heard that name somewhere before. Maybe. So, you do not even know my name. How disappointing. Disappointing, but fortuitous. Mysterious stranger, Takumi Yumioka. <laughs> Persons of interest updated. Let's see. The man who was covertly watching Shogo Uki at Kinshibori Park. Well then, Mr. Uki, allow me to make you a proposition. You have a curse stone in your possession. I would like you to give it to me. How do you know? How do you know about that? Why well, I saw the whole thing. That doesn't explain how you know what a curse stone is. True. Taku no, 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 that was Tanuki. That was Tanuki. Even I barely have a handle on it. You know about the seven mysteries of Hanjo and their curses and all that, don't you? But of course, those curse stones. They're terribly dangerous things, capable of killing without a trace so long as their conditions are met. I hadn't thought of it that way, but yeah. Imagine what might happen if one fell into the wrong hands. Like this dude, maybe. It would be safer in mind, don't you agree? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Although it seems I arrived too late to stop you from killing that poor woman. But we didn't kill her because it happened before we had the stone. 
What are you? That wasn't me. I'm willing to overlook your indiscretion, but only if you give me your curse stone. No way in hell. For all I know, the wrong hands are yours. Very well. I'd hope to settle this amicably, but you leave me no choice. This Takumi guy must have a curse stone of his own. Hmm. Wait, why are you saying sorry, Ryan? The camera movement in these shots is kind of wild. Hmm. What? Who's buying me? Yeah, it's it's probably Tusta. <laughs> no, she's on the couch. Um, as we having an ad break. Oh, I'm pretty sure he has one. I'm pretty sure. The, the reason why is like, it, it, it's clear that he's a famous person. So... Him having the ability to kill people without leaving any traces, and that he was the one who worded it that way. I didn't even think of that. That having it in the wrong hands... Making it easy for you to kill people without any trace leading back to you. The way that he thought of that and said that to us immediately is very sus. And we all know that, you know, if you're a famous person, it could definitely be even more convenient to be able to kill people without a trace, you know? So I definitely do not trust him with this stone. I don't want to give it to him anyway. <laughs> um... Definitely do not want to give that to him. Um... It upsets you a lot of times. People will equate you saying dogs overwhelm me, but I have three cats as... Oh, so you hate dogs? Typical cat person? Yeah, yeah. Never said that. Love them, but need to need them in small doses. It doesn't mean you hate them. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I usually don't mind dogs. Sometimes I, I love, love interacting with dogs if I know that they're not too much, you know? But the thing is, for me, and I know this is so weird, but I think maybe it's, I don't know if it's a size thing, because like cats don't take up too much space. So even if they, they're not like super calm, it doesn't bother me in the same way. But it's like when when my cat start meow starts meowing really loudly, that overwhelms me too. But luckily it doesn't happen like all the time, so. But if I had a dog who barked all the time, I would go insane. Which side rant you hate the 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 cat person versus dog person debate? Like why can't love both all animals? Why does it need to be competition? If you, it should be animal person versus people person because you're not a pre people person at all, not counting. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But at the same time, it's nice to, well, when you notice that some people prefer one and just don't actually like the other in at all. Because there are a lot of people who go out of their way to make it known that they hate cats, but they love dogs, you know? I don't feel like it's the same way the other way around as much. If at all. I actually don't know if I've seen anyone say the opposite, that they love cats, but they hate dogs. I don't think I've seen that once. 
But the other way around happens all the time. Kissing curse. <laughs> what do you mean, kissing curse? People sometimes are so quick to jump to stuff without considering others' experiences, and that is so shitty. Yeah. How often do I kiss my cat? What do you mean? Why are you asking me that? They, they, you asking if my cats have cursed me? I like both for different reasons. The pull is missing option to both. Yeah. Can't betray your cats. That's fair. That's fair. Um, how often do I get? All the time. Usually only on the top of their head, though. But yeah, we're back from the ad. Um, yeah, this guy, this Kumi guy, must have a cursed one of his own. Yeah. Yeah. At least it'll be safer to assume so. It would explain how he knows so damn much. So he can kill me instantly, as long as he fulfills his stone's conditions. Until I know what those conditions are. I can't make any sudden moves. I have to keep him talking, learn what I can, and figure out a way to get my curse out first. How can I get him to leave me behind? Hmm. Though, it would be a waste not to take this chance to find out about the other curse bearers. If I want to use my curse on him, I have to get him to walk away and leave me behind. Now, what would convince him to do that? Scenario 1, he does what he came here to do. Scenario 2, he suddenly needs to be somewhere else. He's probably here for my curse stone, so I don't think I'd get out of Scenario 1 alive. Scenario 2 means hoping something will happen by chance, and luck is rarely on my side. So my only hope is Scenario 3, something makes it impossible for him to stay. I don't have to keep him away forever, I just need to get him to walk away once. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. You like both cats and dogs and had one of each at one point. The dog thought he, she was a cat, though. <laughs> cats raised by dogs and dogs raised by cats are also kind of funny how they can really adapt the behavior to the other. Mm. Like which cat was first in a household. I think, I feel like that also really depends because sometimes if you have a cat first, they won't be too acceptive uh, of, of a dog. But I don't know. But the dog looking thing, same. It makes you nauseous, but not just dogs. Wait and lady will lick your arms or face and you immediately pull away. Feel like you're going to cry. The sensation is so horrible for you. It makes you want to crawl out of your skin. I don't really mind that, but it's ma mainly because it's... I think it's because of the texture. When it comes to like... Dogs, like, they, they're, they're so big and, and wet in comparison, I, I guess. I don't know. It kind of... But, like, the, the, the raspy kind from the cats, that that doesn't bother me. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Takumi Yumioka, he said his name was. He hasn't taken his eyes off me for a second. 
Even now, he's still staring right at me. Who the hell is he? Maybe if I focus, I can recall something useful. Recall. Takumi Yumiyoka. How the hell does he know me? It's not like I've been getting out much. I barely have a life outside of work. I don't understand how he knows me either. Wade was raised by Rob's sister in that house of five dogs you were talking about. And it's so funny to see his dog-like qualities versus lady and garbage who were only ever around other cats. Hmm. I need a topic that will keep him talking. My best bet would be... Hmm. About Takumi? Before I give you my curse stone, I want to know who you are. I need to know if I can trust you. A reasonable enough concern? Very well. I'm an associate of the great sorcerer Sugin Kamiodo. Gamiodo. Sugin Kam Gamiyodo? Indeed, you must have heard of him. I believe he was recently featured in a certain magazine. It was probably the one that Yoga was talking about. Your unfortunate companion there came seeking his counsel not a few days ago. It was from her that I learned your name. I thought she would have mentioned me to you, but it seems that was presumptuous of me. And when did this happen? Why, just two or three days ago. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm not buying that. He knows I don't know who he is, so he's just trying to feed me a story. I've only known Yoko for a month, but she never mentioned going to see some mystic. Although, it is Yoko we're talking about here, so it's hard to say for sure. I hope that is enough to convince you that my hands are more than trustworthy. Ah, uh, no. But not because of what he said, though. You were raised by Rob's sister's third dog. <laughs> Sometimes from their interactions, you truly think he genuinely believes he's a dog and they're both cats. Fourth cousins try twice removed via, via dog marriage. Mm. About Yoko. How do I know it wasn't you who killed Yoko with your curse? Mr. Oki, if you're hoping to trick me into revealing whether I possess a curse stone, I assure you, you cannot. All that is sus. It is your curse that was responsible, Mr. Oki. No matter what you might tell yourself. Yeah, but it wasn't me who did it. That doesn't make sense. I only found this after Yoku died. Oh? Don't play dumb. I know you're the one who did this. Whether you choose to believe me is your prerogative, but you are mistaken. But you should know that multiple curses awakened at once at the stroke of midnight. There are many other curses in Hanjo, and many other curses, uh, curse bearers. Is it not premature of you to assume that I am the one responsible? It was at the stroke of midnight that we got the achievements. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that at midnight a bunch of people became curse bearers? There's no point in continuing this conversation. For all I know, he could be telling me anything. Wait, that's it. My work, that's how he knows me. I never actually met him, so it totally slipped my mind. Oh. 
secretary to the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps. The man who was covertly watching Shoga Uki at Kinshibori Park. Kinshibori Park. Takumi is the secretary to the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps, a chemicals company headquartered in Sumida City. Takumi worships the company chairwoman, Natsue Yamamori, and demonstrates his unwavering loyalty through his swift and exact execution of every task given to him. Just as Natsue Yamamori continues to exert tremendous influence over the company since her retirement from the presidency, so too does Takumi continue to support her behind the scenes. Acting as Natsu's mouthpiece in this capacity has earned him the ire of the current president and the board of directors. Takumi knows the names and faces of not only all employees at the head office, uh, but also the temporary workers in their factories and warehouses, and even their main suppliers. Well, that's creepy. So he's basically stalking us. And do it well enough and they think it's a werewolf. <laughs> you already did a tiny one. <laughs> Gummy out of my ass. This guy thinks he can sell me anything. But I don't know if having figured that out helps me much right now. Hmm. He works at Hihaku Soaps, just like me. He's the secretary to the chairwoman Natsuo Yamamori. No wonder I didn't recognize him. He's way above us lowly peons. I've only ever seen him in the company bulletins. But he knew who I was. Could he have memorized the names and faces of everyone in the company? Hmm. Um. About the other curse bears. For each of the seven mysteries, there's a curse and a curse bearer, right? Do you know who any of the others are? And what would you do with that information? Your intentions are nothing untoward, I hope. It is in the hearts of the selfish and in insipid of those who would be most tempted by the right of resurrection that the curse take root. And a curse's resentful memories impart a powerful urge to kill, as I'm certain you are aware. Hmm. You are a victim of circumstance, Mr. Oki, but your situation is exceedingly dangerous. You must relinquish your curse stone for your own benefit before it is too late. Too late? It is already too late. There's no going back. All I can do is keep pressing forward. And if you're going to stand in my way, then I'll have to stop you. I wasn't prepared for this to happen. I wanted to talk about other things as well. <laughs> Am I to take that as a threat, Mr. Oki? I would encourage you to ex exercise more discretion before you fail, before you fall foul of a curse. What's up with that light? I'm just- this is just me clearly making him turn around or something. About my curse stone. What do you want with my curse stone anyway? I intend to seal it away in a secure location so it may never be used again. I'm certain that you too would rather be free of this burden. The power to kill without fear of consequence is in itself a curse. There are many ne'er do, do wells in this world who could not resist the urge to use it. All the more so if promised a chance to resurrect the dead. You will seal it away? How? I'll put it in, in the care of a sorcerer who is well versed in supernatural matters. If I have gained your trust, I may ask I must ask you to hand me your curse stone. Mm -hmm. If 
If you hold the, the, all the cursed stones, you make a wish. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know. Hmm. About Yoko. Why are you so convinced it was my curse that killed Yoko? Why it is simply that... Hmm? Huh? I do believe I just saw your companion move. She what? I don't know if I want to, to turn around because... What if that's gonna kill me? I mean, I know the, the condition for my curse stone is to have the one you want to kill need to be walking away from you. So it can't be the same as with him. Oh. Yoko? Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Wait, she doesn't look any different. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I'm too nosy. I didn't know that he had the same condition, though. Damn it all. Witness the death of Shogo Uki. Yeah, see... I, I knew that I shouldn't turn around, but I was like, no, but that's not the condition of his stone. It can't be. So I was like, but then it should be fine. That's so annoying, though. I'm too nosy. My, my, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. This is a mere conjecture on my part, but perhaps you ought to be more careful about turning your back on unscrupulous individuals. I didn't mean to. I fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from before your unfortunate mishap. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Try again, yes. Very well. Just remember, whatever you do, do not turn around. I know that now. I know that now. What are you doing? Should you not check on her? No. <laughs> what if you turn around again immediately? No. Uh, because it stops you. Because you end up having a... Um, a dialogue popping up. Takumi's ad identity. Sugin Gamiyodo Mayas. I know who you are. You work at Hihaku Soaps, just like me. You're the chairwoman's secretary. Well, that took you long enough. Your lack of company loyalty is frankly astounding. Allow me to reiterate my request, then. Not as a stranger, but as your superior. Hey, we're not at the office. You don't get to push me around like that. Why is our chairwoman's secretary even out looking for curse stones, anyway? I refrain from revealing myself precisely to avoid such questions, but I suppose needs must. Since the dawn of the Showa era, the land of Han Hanjo was nurtured, has nurtured our company's growth, and vice versa. It is our duty to ensure that curses do not take root in this land we know as our home. I'm not sure I buy that. Like many things, it is not a matter of concerns the rank. Uh, it is not a matter that concerns the rank and, and file. The chairwoman has no desire to spread fear through our beloved company's birthplace. Now, if that is all, I must insist that you hand me your curse stone. But he killed me, though. <laughs> Which Undertale doggo are you? <laughs> uh, 
know exactly which one I am. Um, you don't think Temmies count as dogs? Oh, they look kind of like dogs, though. We need to lurk. You're too curious about your pixel blood on your Jason axe. <laughs> go, go do it, Palm. But does he know he killed you, but it didn't happen? Oh, that doesn't matter, because I know. <laughs> Why would I not use the information that I know? <laughs> this is not a role-playing game, you know? Not that I would be role-playing anyway. I would just play as myself. Um. There's so many dogs missing. You're the one dog that I killed on the first run? What do you mean? I didn't kill any dogs. You know, that conversation was from a while ago, but that's how long it took to figure it out. Wait, which- which conversation? Oh, the poll? You did well, Black Hat. Does he know the same as I know? I don't think so. The guards? I didn't kill those, because you don't kill them. You just distract them. Because they, they think you're a puppy. You know the dogs that are in love? Is, are those the ones you, you're talking about? I didn't kill those. You did well, Black Cats. Yeah, it's it's difficult to fit as many options as you want in a poll. Something Floofy got murdered, do you remember it? Something Fishy got murdered. I can say that much. Um... But Toriel isn't a doggo. Toriel is a, is a goat. Wait, I got it. I know how I convince can convince him to leave. Yeah, I can get him to. That's what I'm. I'm saying that I. I... What's up with that light? What's up with that weird ball of lights? Is that your curse? Whatever you do, you mean. I'm afraid I see no such thing. Huh? But it's right. Huh? It's gone. He was right there. I see. It seems you have become the mark of another curse bearer. Hmm. A tutorial. Yeah, I, I know. I know, Orion. <laughs> Convince him to leave. Oh crap, I totally forgot. What is it? I called an ambulance. Oh right, I forgot to mention, I called an ambulance. It should be coming any minute now. An ambulance? Have you lost your mind? They will arrive to find you standing next to a corpse alone in the dead of night. No doubt they will hand you over to the police. We will have some questions for you. Probably, but I'm sticking with Yoko. Unless you want to join me in an interrogation room, you'd better get out of here. You're telling the truth, I see. You're getting closer by the second. I cannot afford to be waylaid by this juncture. I fear I must take my leave. So does this mean we, we have to... Should we... Should we kill him? I, d I just... I don't know if I should, but at the same time... 
He killed me. He killed me. I kind of want to try it. Save. I can actually save. But, I mean, I can also go back, I think. Sure, we can save. But you came back, so did it even happen? Yes, it did. As long as I know, it happened. <laughs> use curse. I'm kind of tempted to use it, just to see. Oh, damn, that was my controller. Oh. Oh, no, he hadn't turned around. Shogo Key, you dare. Oh, no. He's dead. Oh. I feel like I shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> He's really dead. So this is what a curse stone can do. Oh. The curse stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 1% soul dredge. Dregs? Dredge. I don't know why I said dredge. Dregs? Only 1%. Does that mean that I... That's so little. <laughs> That's so little. <sighs> 2 a.m. I left the park immediately. I felt bad for leaving Yoko, but I couldn't stay there. I'm sticking with this. I, I don't really think that I want to. I don't think I want to because I, I like if I also leave her, I don't have any reason to go through with the right. The emergency medical services will probably take care of her body. Takumi's too. This will be all over the news tomorrow. But until then, at least I know she'll be in a safe place. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I... Uh... It auto-saves and I see a person here. It's spoilers. Do you wish to load slot one? This will revert any current story progress. It is possible to experience all the story has to offer without reloading your data. Okay, so you don't actually have to reload to experience everything. Okay, I'll, I can stick with it then. Then, you know, that's that's fine. Yeah, I'll stick with it then. But that's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. I have to find my next sacrifice quickly. I've got no time to waste. I need to find the other curse bearers and collect their souls. Killing Takumi barely got me any soul dregs. I guess he mustn't have been a curse bearer after all. I guess so. It's not enough. The soul of a non curse bearer amounts to little more than leftover breadcrumbs. I have to think of places where the other curse bearers of the Seven Mysteries would be. The curses were activated at around midnight. The others are bound to be active still. I should check to see if there are any other places with connections to the Mysteries nearby. At the very least, another curse bearer might be thinking the same as me, meaning I could run into them. Let's see. Which of the Seven Mysteries are closest? I mean, the Kinshicho, 
Kin Kinshicho area right now. The haunting clappers are on the other side of Oyoko River, just over Shumoki Bridge. The foot washing mansion and the ever burning lantern are around South Wadigasui Street, past the train tracks. And further along Oyoko River, I'll find the beckoning light at Hoanji Bridge. Those three places are the closest. I guess I should start there. I think. I'll collect the other curse bearer's souls before dawn and bring Yoko back to life. I should go to another location connected to the Seven Mysteries of Honcho. Curse Stone of the Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of Honjo. It is currently 1% filled with soul uh, dregs. Now I was about to say dreg, uh, Greg's <laughs> because I read that you said it in, in chat, Orion. <laughs> I mean, we might as well go to the nearest one, right? closest one. Shimoku Bridge area. The Shimoku Bridge is supposedly where the bell from the Haunted Clapper story used to be. I wandered around here for a while, but I didn't see anything interesting. The only thing I found was what looks like a 100 yen lighter someone threw away. I don't know if curses are vulnerable to fire, but maybe I'll find a use for it. I mean, maybe. Could be. A cheap lighter I found lying around. It barely has any lighter fluid left. Of course, I didn't just find a lighter. There were a ton of cigarette butts strewn across the the ground, too. Seems like the place is well in need of some wooden clappers to warn about fire. just turn around? Hmm. Let's see. So we're in this area now. Hey, Andy Bunny! You will re-up your sub next month. You're currently going through health. No, don't don't ever worry about that. I hope you hope you're doing well. I mean, I hope it's not too bad. Don't ever worry about that. No, no, no. I hope you're doing doing okay though. But it's not not too bad. Hmm. But it is really nice to see you, though. And please, obviously, you need to you need to prioritize your health. It's not that this. Yeah, ask ask away, blackheads. As the evening bell rings in ear, it's... So this is where we are right now. But I'm guessing maybe... Nothing happens unless we... Well, maybe something happens on the way.
This is where the the giant foot thing was. Don't tell Dad, man. Um, you'll be okay. It's hernia surgery, so hoping it goes well. This is the third surgery on it, so hope it works this time. I hope so too. Wishing all the best for you, Andy. I I hope I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. And yeah, obviously. I hope it's also, it won't be too bad for you financially either. I really don't. Because... Honestly, I feel like it's it's really shitty when... That is one of the things that really bothers me a lot about the healthcare system in, in the US and stuff. It's like, it's stressful enough thinking about... Um, you know, something really... Really... Uh, bad health-wise, and then the financial stuff on top of that? That just makes you feel even worse. But hey, Shane, how you doing? Um... It's so bad and stressful. Well, I am hoping that, that it will go smoothly, though. And that you will recover quickly. But you're doing good. I'm glad. I'm glad, Shane. You enjoying this game, though? I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. I know I've been pausing a lot and <laughs> not really progressed really, uh, like a lot. But, mm, but I'm doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Both the foot washing mansion and the ever burning lantern are from this area. This late at night, even a road as big as this one is silent as the grave. Is it just me, or is it oddly dark around here? Could this be... Is this darkness the work of a curse? Have I already fulfilled its conditions to kill? Should I get out of here? Or should I stick around and figure out just what I'm dealing with? I mean, we could always use the lighter. See what happens. I know it's past midnight, but it still seems oddly dark around here. And this feeling is the same as from before. <gasps> That's a curse watching me. Oh. There. There's something over there. Is that a curse echo? A curse of the seven mysteries given form? I knew it. There's a curse bearer around here. Is that curse echo what's causing this darkness? It doesn't seem hostile. Is it trying to tell me to come closer? What should I do? I want to observe first. No, approaching it, approaching it will be stupid. I should keep my distance. What if I use the... No, hold on. Um... Curse are made tangible by what they are known as soul drag. Someone can use it. A curse echo is in itself a curse, and a possessed curse bearer can inflict that curse upon others at will. Those with no spirit sense would not be able to perceive a curse echo, but anyone who becomes a curse bearer can see other curse echoes. I'm just trying to determine if I should approach it or not. What if I try using the the lighter? Can I use the lighter? Should I get closer? Let me let me let 
let me save. <laughs> let, let me let me just save. Just just in case, you know? Nothing's gonna happen if I just sit and wait. Let's check it out. I might die. Oh. Darn it. Now what? This isn't a curse doing this. Somebody's pulling me in. Ah, that hurt. Looks like I'm... I'm... Inside a building? Did it toss me in here? Can't see squat. Is this the same darkness from the curse echo? They got me. This has to be the work of another curse bearer. Is this darkness because of the curse echo? Are they trying to trap me here? I guess I should be glad they haven't killed me yet. If I don't start searching for a way out. Shit, I can't see a thing. If only I had a source of light. If only. <laughs> if only. Ah. That's right. I still have the lighter I picked up earlier. Might die if I do that, though. <laughs> Perfect. It works. Now I can make out my surroundings a bit better. What the? Yeah. I was thinking, what if it needs to be dark? And that's what's keeping me safe. Something. Drat, he's got a light. That ruins everything. Oh. Is someone there? Are you a curse bearer? It's over. Time to get out of here. <gasps> Use the curse! This one is gonna give me... Some soul... <laughs> some soul dregs. Ugh, what the? Why? Uh, that's... That was a close one. But yeah, he was definitely trying to kill me first. Um, didn't catch a glimpse of the curse bear, but it seems like I'm alright. 30%! Yeah, because this one was clearly a curse bear. That, that I could... You could tell, because it's like he said... Damn, he has a light that changes everything, you know? Because he probably needs the darkness to be able to kill someone. So yeah, this one gave us quite a bit. Just started blasting the curse at anyone that moves now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Didn't you have a yeah, yeah, I did I did have a lighter. Um This curse must have had something to do with light and darkness. My guess would be the ever-burning lantern? So there's a connection between the seven mysteries and the way the curses work. That might be useful to know. Yeah, I kind of put two and two together with that because... Because of what it said about the curses that took place in this area. Thirty-one percent. And see, now it's not that dark anymore. If the ever-burning lantern is the curse responsible for this, I'd guess maybe its condition is something about me being in total darkness. It's a good thing I had this lighter. It seems to have saved me. Yeah. I don't have the curse stone, though, for it. I guess I only get one, maybe. here. Hwanji Bridge. This is the person that showed up in the uh, the autosave. <laughs> autosave file. I'm here at Hwanji Bridge, the location linked with the beckoning light. The beckoning lights should be around here somewhere. Hardly anyone's around. Not surprising, seeing as it's Past two in the morning. 
It feels like the whole world's gone to sleep. That's a man. Okay, let's talk. Someone's standing on the bridge, silhouetting themselves against the sky. Well, we can observe first. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Fine, I'll go first. Okay. Oh. Hmm, I see, I see. Interesting. Is it my Michael Jackson? <laughs> Well, now, this is a surprise. Eh? Who are you? If you got the wrong... Uh, if you got the wrong guy, just say so. He's a flamboyant fellow. Wouldn't bat an eyelid if this were the inner city. But he stands out like a sore thumb in these parts. The other side is an industrial district. And further down from the bridge is the temple from which it gets its name. Hwanji Bridge has a pretty unusual structure. The ends are stone, but the middle is steel. The o Oyoka River beneath, beneath it is actually a canal that was dug during the Edo period. I guess we're gonna talk then. <laughs> Sorry if some messages got spammed. It showed it didn't said anything. Oh, I thought you sent it several times on like on purpose. <laughs> Come now. It won't hurt to at least tell me your name. Why do you want to know my name? What are you doing here? Very good. You shouldn't give up your name so easily, especially not to strangers. Exactly. Gone is the age when might. Wait. Gone is the age when might's made right. Nowadays, it's information that rules the world. <laughs> you do well to remember that. <laughs> Why is he so dramatic? <laughs> You're the one who asked. Your name, your address, your phone number, your age, your occupation, your personal information is much more valuable than you might think. You should treat those things with care. So I guess you don't plan on telling me anything either, then. You can call me Richter Kai, private detective. <laughs> but didn't you just say not to? <sighs> Never mind. You say you're a detective? That's correct. I'm a man who deals in secrets. Don't expect me to share any more information with you, though. I only told you so that we could have an understanding. Private Detective Rick Richter Kai. Or Rich R R Richter Kai. I'm gonna say that. You just discovered you left the gas burner on for three hours? No, Scoot! I hope you didn't light a, a lighter in the house. <laughs> well, I mean. Well, I mean, you probably wouldn't be here if that was if that was the case. The decision you've been trying to make. Sorry, this is going to be super long, so you'll have to split the message into two parts. Is that you find out? That Stardew Valley's big update is coming to consoles, which on November 4th, supposedly, and they said you don't have to start a new farm for all the new stuff to work, but if you continue a farm, then you get overwhelmed, spanned with a lot of- with a ton of stuff all at once, and it's possible you could miss some stuff depending on how many years along you are, but a couple of weeks ago you started a new farm and have made a ton of progress on it, and you're already on spring year two, so that throwing away a lot of hours, progress, efforts you've just put into it, so it feels bad to just toss it out. Now to start the grind all over again from the beginning, but you're worried you might have missed stuff from year one that will be in the update. Hmm. 
Yeah, Orion, Orion would have probably something to help you with here. Person of interest updated. Private investigator, the eccentric man that Shogo Uki ran into at Hoanji Bridge. A detective? Really? Just like that? He may look ridiculous, but he knows what he's doing. I don't want to. F I don't want him finding out about me. I don't think he's a curse bearer, so I'm better off just leaving him alone. I mean, I just I want to talk a little bit to see what my options are. What's a detective doing around here? Working. And that's all I'll say about that. I could ask you the same thing though. This seems like a strange place to stop. What brought you here? Hmm. I saw a strange man, and it was you. <laughs> Why should I tell you? Why should I tell you? I see. Clearly you didn't stop here just for the chance to talk to me. Which begs the question, what did you expect to find here? Maybe this bridge simply appeals to you. But then, why would you go out of your way to drop by in the middle of the night? Well, because... I don't know about you, but I prefer actually walking during the night because there's no, no one around, you know? I mean, it's none of his business, but I'm also like, I'm also curious what he could tell me <laughs> if he does have any, anything to say. Eh, it's none of your business. No, don't worry about it. I think I'm in the wrong place anyway. If you ever need a hand, I'd be happy to help. It's all in a day's work for an investigator extra uh, extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Thanks, I'll try looking somewhere else for now. Really? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any more help. Hmm. It doesn't seem like he has anything to do with the curse bears. I should move on. If he's been here for as long as he says, there's a good chance he's seen something. But I don't think it's worth asking. He seems like all kinds of trouble. That is true. I don't know. Well, we could always go back to the first place. Shimoku Bridge area. We didn't actually get to do anything here. Doesn't seem like I'll make any more progress investigating the haunted haunting clappers. Okay. Of course, I didn't just. Well, okay. Well, I guess I have to talk to the investigator, unless something new shows up here. The Everburning Lantern's curse used to be here, but it's gone now. Yeah, I guess I have to go and talk to him. Something else you need? No, I'm just passing by. Is that so? Yeah, I guess I do need to talk to him. Ah, oh, that's right, I meant to ask. Do you have a light on you? A light? You mean for cigarettes? Well, I got this cheap one I picked up, but that's it. Oh no, that'll do nicely. Are you sure? <sighs> hmm. 
I gave it to him, but I still have it in my inventory. Anyway, I should get back to work. Once you're gone, of course. Is there a reason I can't be here? Of course. My work is top secret. Huh. But I can't do anything else. Oh, okay, okay. It gave me more options. That's good. Um... look around the area. I should head somewhere else now. Where to next? First around Midoricho Park at the end of South Varagusui Street is the Taiko of Tsuguru. Let's see. North of there is a school called Komagata High School at the location of the Fool's Procession. It should be around here. Well, this is closer, so we might as well go here. Oh, there are two people in the park. This is Midoricho Park, location of the Taiko of Tsugaru, one of the seven mysteries. Huh? Someone's there. Two men. One middle-aged and the other a young adult. Talking to each other. There's a good chance that one of them could be a curse bearer. I'll try to scope things out without being spotted. To pick up their conversation from this distance, I'll have to focus in and watch them for a while, I think. If it looks like I'll be spotted, I'll quickly hide behind a tree to move out of line uh to move out of line of sight. Uh, they were supposed to be around here, but I don't see anyone, boss. No need to get ahead of ourselves. I bet we see something before the night is done. Maybe you're right, but still, the seven mysteries. Huh? Was there a noise from behind us just now? No? Hey, who's there? No one! Oh, you two are police officers. Well, that's... Well, it kind of looked like he had some, some holsters on him, the, the younger one, but... Ah, people often say we don't look like... Uh, look it. Sorry if we startled you. I'm sure there's no problem, but we'll have to ask you some questions. As procedure. Oh, I'm John Ario. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Investigative Divi Division. June, 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 Jun, Jun, Jun. And this old guy with the scowling mug is Chief Inspector Tetsuo Tsutsumi. Tsutsumi. My superior officer. You wouldn't guess from what town. N town. You wouldn't guess from that frown, but he actually has quite the sweet tooth. There we go. Quit, bla quit blabbering. <laughs> Let's see. The gruff police detective that Shogo Oki met at Midoricho Park. The fresh faced police detective that Shogo Oki met at Midoricho Park. 
the scene. Uh-oh. They're detectives. They're not investigating the corpse that was here, are they? No, I'm still fine anyway. It's not like a curse could show up as ed evidence in a police investigation. I can hardly believe how calm I am. I just need to keep a cool head and not panic. He's as intimidating as I'd expect a veteran cop to be. First that private detective, now police detectives. Why today of all days? And they also talked about the seven mysteries as well. So they know about it. I always imagine detectives as blunt and aggressive, but I guess there's some pleasant ones too. <laughs> what is up with his mouth? What are you doing? <laughs> now first, can you show me some idea with your name, address, and occupation? I'll be okay. I'm better off just going along with it. Wow, you work for Hihaku Soaps? I hear they've been raking it in late uh, raking it in lately, that's true. I don't know much about that. I'm just a recent hire. People are loving that new hair product you have. I use it all the time myself. Thank you for your patronage. Have you used that ha you use hair products? <laughs> Get with the times, boss. Guys nowadays all use, uh, guys nowadays all use these things. Also, for those of you who don't know, this is supposed to be in the 70s. Isn't that right, Mr. O'Key? Um, yeah, sure. We even make men's cosmetics now. That's so. What a time we live in. Sorry, boss is the kind of caveman who thinks using only a bar of soap for all his washing makes him cool or something. I don't think that. I just don't care enough to use anything else. Actually, we do have all-in-one soaps for just that purpose. There are plenty of people like you. Ah, hear that, Ario? That's what I'm talking about. You should put out more of those. Aren't you riled up? <laughs> I leave the questions, uh, questions up to him. I got nothing to ask. Okay. Anyway, Mr. O'Key, what is it that you're doing here? Um, actually, I'm searching for the seven mysteries. Wait, why did you say that? Have you heard of the seven mysteries of Hanjo, Detective? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. A girl I know is into them. That's how I got interested. Is it Yoko? Is he into Yoko? <laughs> I see. Oh, no. It was us who said it. Never mind. I see. I seem to remember even Midoricho Park had one of the mysteries associated with it. What was it again? Well, we can... We can... We can check. No, it's not this one. Then it was the other one. This one. Um. Yeah, the Taiko of Tsuguru. Ah, that's right. The Taiko of Tsuguru. This whole area used to be the residence of the Tsuguru, a clan of samurai. So that's why you were hanging around in the middle of the night. Discover anything interesting? No, nothing. Though I admit, I haven't been looking into these things too hard. Right. I think I understand your situation. Thank you for your answers. Now it's quite late, so you'd best be heading home. Don't tell me what to do! I have to figure out whether or not they're curse bears first. With two of them, the bear could be either one. Could the other one... Could the other already be aware that their friend has a curse stone? Maybe I could have learned something if I had listened to more of their conversation. I didn't really have any choice, though. I didn't get any option to hide. Either way, if I'm gonna do it, I have to get them both. Leaving one alive would be too risky. Though, I still don't know if I can use the curse on two people at once if they both leave at the same time. 
true. Hmm? Something wrong? You're free to go. Hmm, excuse me. Since you detectives are around, does that mean something happened around here? Uh, well, we are investigators, so it is indeed related to a case. But don't worry, there's no threat to the civilians whatsoever. We'll be here a while longer looking into things, but you can rest easy. A while longer, huh? That's not good. This may be my only chance. I see. Well, I'll be going now. Take care. Well, I can always leave and come back. While I'm fairly sure one of them is a curse bearer, getting them to leave will be hard. Maybe I should go somewhere else before they get any more suspicious of me. Yeah. Komagata High School front gates. Here I am at Komagata High School. School sure are spooky at night. Curses aside, something about it just gives me the creeps. Let's see here. Ah, someone's there. Huh? Whoa, what the... Ouch. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but did you just climb over the school gate? Hmm. The school is supposedly on the former site of a daimyo's residence where, the encountered, where he encountered the fool's procession. It's now at the center of a quiet residential area. Komagata High School, a co-educational municipal high school with 632 attendees. Its name is commonly shortened to Koma High. Koma High. <laughs> Koma High. Uh, although it opened as Honjo First Middle School in 1943, subsequent revisions to its re enrollment po policies saw it change its name, becoming Komagata High School. School strives to instill its students with the three S's of Sumida, sound morals, social responsibility, and strength of spirits. But success has been limited. Played by a delinquency, it has been forced to turn to temporary employees to compensate for its high staff turnover, and its sports clubs face challenges with its inner city location and small campus. Its traditional culture research club is thriving, however, even in even issuing regular bulletins in co collaboration with the local records office. Hmm. Hmm. I keep switching between my controller and uh, <laughs> and the mouse. Um. I can see the main school building past the gates. Was the girl inside the school? The school gate is closed, but climbing over looks easy enough. The large gymnasium, gymnasium looks silently, si looms silently over the grounds. It's even more imposing in the dark. I just need to make sure that I looked at everything before I talked to her. A girl in a school uniform came climbing over the front gate. She must be a student here. Hmm? The thing she's hiding in her hand. <gasps> no doubt about it. That's a curse stone. This girl is a curse bear. Oh no, we have to kill a child. I mean, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> Did you curse the detective person? No, I didn't. Uh, I had to leave and then come back later. So they won't get suspicious of me because I end up having... I might have to kill both of them. What's going on? 
Why are you at school this late? Um, well... I'm really sorry. I'm in a big hurry right now, so I gotta go. Uh, should I? <laughs> should I use it? Should I? Should I use the curse? Um... It might be a little bit trigger happy though to do that right away. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It was two? Wait, two what? But she is carrying a, a curse stone. And I don't think she has a curse stone without being cursed. I don't know. Seems I pressed the cursing very easily. What do you mean? I've only done it twice. And the, the, the second time it, I needed to, to do it fast because it was someone that who like that was clearly gonna kill me first if I didn't do it. But if she leaves, I mean, I did save. Let's just see what happens. Hey, wait. Huh? A curse? Dude, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't use the curse. I didn't. You saw it. I didn't, I didn't use the curse. Can't be. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that. <laughs> that that wasn't what I did. The curse stone of the whispering canal has gained thirty six soul dregs. So it gave me thirty six from just this one person. <laughs> I killed her. Yes, I got a curse bear. This is working. I just have to keep it up. But I didn't do that on purpose. How many more do I need? One, two? All right, on to the next one. Hope it isn't too spooky. What are you gonna watch, Palm? I feel like my protagonist isn't a nice guy. I think maybe he's been affected by, uh, by the curse. As in, like, I feel like it's probably changed him a little bit, too. But he needs to get 100% for the curse stone to be able to, to resurrect her, Yoko. And the faster you do it, the less you need to be able to resurrect her, I think. You mean the game isn't too spooky? No, I, I knew what you meant, but I was, uh, I, I asked you what you were gonna watch. <laughs> Why do you kill others to resurrect the one? Um, well, that's why it's important to choose the ones that are curse bears and not just random people. Um, because it happened without, like, she died from a curse. So what I'm thinking is that we probably need to resurrect her to be able to figure out how it all started, maybe. Did it say how I became cursed? Does it mean you're a bad person? It didn't say, except that it, it said that it was easier to 
get cursed or be a curse bearer if you really felt the need to use the get the curse of um no right of resurrection so we didn't get cursed until until she got cursed and we saw her die when we saw that she died that's when we ended up becoming a curse bear because we kind of got a new motivation to use the right of uh, resurrection which we didn't have before we were just helping her because she wanted it but we didn't have any any reason to use it until she died But does it mean anyone is one? No, uh... It, well, we don't know who is, so we need to choose carefully who is the curse bearer. So that's why, like, the first person who showed up, uh... Where Yoko was cursed, the, the first one we killed, we needed to be more careful with that, because... He wasn't a curse bearer. So we just need to be choosing very carefully otherwise we will be killed by other curse bears you know you post some progress on your mask and stuff in discord nice nice but yeah i was talking about yoko but thank you for the lurk palm i hope you enjoyed the movie he only gave you one percent so it must have been a week so yeah <laughs> yeah The guy who's... No one stabbed me. Well, I, I don't know what happened, actually. If he just hit us on the head, or if... I don't know what he... Yeah, but I don't know how he killed us. Because we just turned around, but we don't know how we died. But yeah, he was not a curse bearer. But I think he was just there to kind of show you that it's easy to... Be suspicious of other people without it actually being... Uh, anything, you know? But first, the one-sided read by Ryo, Ryo Goku Bridge. Even the evergreen beach at the former Yasuda Gardens along the Sumida River. Well, then, I mean. Finally, Sumida River. Well, this is pretty. The former Yasuda Gardens. There was some kind of incident here recently, so the entrance was closed off. But it was easy enough to sneak in since there are no guards at this time of night. However... It feels weird being here, uh, being in these magnificent gardens after hours. There's not a visitor or groundskeeper on, in sight. The Rio Goku Public Hall is also on the grounds. Its eye-catching structure makes this place feel even more otherworldly. Hmm. So you get big, uh, big, gra pig, piggy Gregs. <laughs> if you curse the curse bears, yes, yes, you do. Which then kills them. Yeah. But I find it interesting that I didn't have a choice that last time because I chose to just see what happened and like ch uh, wanted to like, I don't know. I guess that we, we don't know, Ryan. We don't know yet. That's what we're trying to figure out, how she died. Well, I mean, she was cursed, but she wasn't cursed by us. Because the way that she died was also not... Um, 
it didn't fill the conditions that needed to be met for us to curse someone, which is when they turn around from us. That's when we can curse them. She didn't turn around from us. And we hadn't also we hadn't gotten the we hadn't become a curse bearer at that point either, so it wasn't us. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Didn't you turn around from her instead? Yeah, we did. Which is interesting because she was the one who got cursed, so. But my suspicion is that we don't actually have a choice to curse someone or not. Maybe we would just end up killing anyone who turns around and walks away from us. So maybe the way that we save someone is if we leave. Yeah, so we, we end up cursing people who turn their backs on us and walks away. But with the last girl, I didn't make the choice. I'm wondering if we even have a choice. Maybe the only way that people around us are safe if we are the ones walking away instead. Um... Former Yasuda Gardens, a lush green park administered by Sumida City. As its common in traditional Japanese gardens, its large central pond is shaped like the character for heart. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> the paths that crisscross its grounds, lined with stone lanterns, are perfect for strolling while appreciating the foliage or bird watching. Uh, the gardens once pulled in water from the Sumida River so that its pond would ebb and flow with the tide. A novelty in Edo, which had begun filling in the bay to support its expansion. The practice has been discontinued in modern times due to flood prevention measures. Hmm. So here is where the evergreen beach is. You'd like to know what gremlin is responsible for coming in to the house at night and making a bunch of dirty dishes despite doing a whole bunch <laughs> yesterday. Uh, the gremlin is your husband. <laughs> God damn it. It could be worse. Could have made the dirty dishes yourself, and you have to clean. Be have to be do doing the cleaning as well. Mm. The question is, what do I do about this? Do about what? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that was the first time I actually got a jump scare. <laughs> um, so, have you decided what you're going to do? Who the fuck are you? With your... curse stone? Oh, so precious. Curse stone. Hmm. Yeah. As soon as I snuck into the gardens, a woman inside called out from behind me. I've been waiting for you. I have a curse stone. Her sudden proclamation had me at a loss for words, so the woman continue continued. I have you in a position where I can use my curse on you whenever I please. If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. 
In that moment, all I could squeeze out in reply was, let me think about it. Which brings us to now. All right. Let us think. Damn it. Did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me anytime. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. It could be a bluff, but since she seems to have information on me, it's probably true. I can't hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. And for now, maybe I can get some information by talking about something that'll catch her interest. Hmm. Do, do they transfer... I, I don't... I don't know. A woman in her 30s. She has a refined air about her. Like she was brought up in a family of high social standing. But I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place. What condition have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing even now. Maybe it's just... Using your eyes, I don't know. <laughs> Breathing, maybe? <laughs> Think, what could it be? Maybe something I have on me? If I suddenly strip naked on the spot, I just, just might be able to avoid her curse. No, don't do that. No, that would take too long. She'd probably kill me before I even got my shirt off. <laughs> Why would you even think about that? Plus, I'd look like a creep. Yes, you would. The other possibility is that the conditional has to do with the location we're in. If being here is what activates the curse of the Evergreen Beach, then I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. In which case, there's no escape. She'd activate her curse before I even ever got away from the gardens. I'm sure I'd recognize it after setting it off, but it's not like I'd get to do things over. Well, that's not entirely true. I think that was just a hint at maybe we need to fail here to figure out what to do. That was such a jump in logic, it kind of was, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait. Um, I might hand over my curse stone, depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Hmm. Sure. Go on. Introduce yourself. If we're going to talk, we should get to know each other be better. My name's Shogo. Stop. Huh? Let's not do all that. And uh, let's not do that, alright? I get the feeling that she doesn't want to know anything about me because that will make her feel worse about killing me. So she doesn't want to know because it will make things harder for her. If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. Wasn't that what I wasn't that what I just said? <laughs> uh and I have a harder time killing you? Wasn't that exactly what I said? <laughs> you would? Don't you think? Seven. Seven? Why did she say seven? Maybe it's a bluff. I mean, it could be. Could be. Let me try again. Well, what if you just tell me your name? Why? Well, I need to call you something. Then call me ma'am. Huh? Alright. Ma'am. Yes. What is it? Ugh, this is bad. She's completely running the show here. 
six. Oh, is she counting down? I guess now I understand. So if I can't figure out her curse, I'll have to set off my own. I don't see how I could make her leave though. Not while she has the upper hand. All I can think of is to make her use her curse. Damn it. There's no way I could way I could no way I could counter attack after the cur after she curses me. About curse stones. If you take my curse stone, what are you going to do with it? With your curse stone? It's brim with, brimming with soul dregs, isn't it? It's already killed so many, no? Hmm. How does she know so much? I like to avoid such crude methods myself. Five. <gasps> the right of resurrection. You want soul dregs. That means you're after the right of resurrection too. Not that I'm trying to compare our circumstances, but can I ask what led you to led you to this? Oh my. Do you mean that if my situation is more dire than yours? You'd give your curse stone to me? Sure, I'd consider it. So tell me. Liar. Huh? You wouldn't hang your fate on something as superficial as that? Nor would I. Hmm. Four. A woman in her 30s. I just want to see if... um. Any new information? I'm gonna click on curse stones again. Can you take soul dregs from other curse bearer stones and add them to your own? See, now we can get answers. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe not. <laughs> but you have to admit it's worth trying. So basically, you want soul dregs, but you steal the ones others have gathered because you don't want to get your own hands dirty? You're half right, but half wrong too. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I just want to end this with as little trouble as possible. Understand? Hmm. Three. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's try the right resurrection again. My son. She wants to resurrect her son? What? He'd be in sixth grade now. If he were still alive. Oh. When I'm one of the big kids, I'll help look after the first and second graders, he'd say. He always had a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids being bullied. He'd defend them, even if he was no match for the bully himself. He'd often come home in tears, but only because he was sad that he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to be a policeman when he grew up. Okay, okay, I get it. I've heard enough. 
Oh, that's enough for you? Yeah. Hearing such a sad story just makes me all the more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. Oh, damn. I see. Huh. So even after what I told you... Two. I'm not sure if I would call that a jerk. Well, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say that out loud, but... I mean, human instinct is like preservation so i guess it's like would you sacrifice yourself for someone to be able to talk to their dead son again i don't know if i would do that well i know i wouldn't <laughs> You're kind of joking, but you like you would hate to be in these positions. Yeah, same. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't. I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't even be in this situation. Well, so it auto saves before this anyway. So. It probably isn't necessary to do this. Um, because we will probably be resurrected uh, if we die to the point before we die. Okay, let's try again. What should I try? I mean, I've tried all of them, but she always adds new information. But I only have two more uh, chances, so I don't, I don't know which one to choose. Hey! <laughs> always with the tail in my face. <laughs> Never fails. Hey! Hey! Oh, do do do. Hey! The slow zooms make the anticipation slow. Can you introduce- I could do that. I could do that. I've had enough. Two curse bearers. Shouldn't be carrying on like this. One. Okay, so that was not necessary then. Hey. They're so deep, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you can max out this one. The right of rest. I'm gonna choose this one again. You still won't hand it over. Such a shame. What? This is the end for you. Farewell. No. Fire? Fire, it's so hot, it, it burns. Fire? Of course, that's what it was. That guy. Damn it. He must have been following me. Hmm. But it's already too late hmm witness the d what haven't we haven't we already done that oh yeah It's like, the name is the same. <laughs> Witness the death of Shogaoki. Witness the death of Shogaoki. I guess it just depends on who kills him. Who was the person in the back? He was the, the investigator. 
You know, the flamboyant one. The Michael Jackson. The detective, yeah. My, my, Vep. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. It was not all in vain, however, as you finally realized how the curse is activated. Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with the lady. Very well. Remember how to ward off the curse when you return. But bear in mind, Shogauki has no way of realizing it himself, so you must react for him. I still don't know how to ward off the curse, though. Damn, did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me anytime. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. Yeah, we already read this, so it's not going to be any new information. How did it activate then? Mm. I don't really know. He made it seem like it was obvious, but it was like, it's just... What kills you is fire? But that doesn't mean that... I know how it's activated and can stop it, you know? Don't tell him you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait. Will you hear me out for a moment? About curse stones. I'm not even gonna, gonna bother with the introduce yourself thing. I'm also just gonna skip the dialogue that I've done before. I just need to let you stay in. Seven. The right of resurrection. Yeah, no, it was Tusta that wanted to come in because Sirius came uh, came in when I opened up the window for Tusta. <laughs> so now she wanted to come back in again. They traded places. Yeah, but Sirius, he's still inside, though. He didn't- he didn't go out. Now. So, now, now they're both in- in- inside. Hmm. The Rite of Resurrection. Gonna do that again. Who doesn't like a hug from <laughs> I don't know why that is quoted, but... Oh well. About curse stones. That's... <laughs> If people only saw the the visuals attached to to that quote, they would understand. <laughs> How do you know what haven't you haven't already set off my curse? Go on then, use it. 
Wait, this is new. If I had, you could have activated it without all that bluster. And yet, here you are. Damn, does she already know about it? Or about that student from before? But if she already knows what would activate it, she wouldn't hide it. Because if you know what activates my curse, there's no way you would set it off yourself. So she must not know yet. I still have a chance. Listen. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. About what? Talking like this instead of killing you immediately? It's just a whim of mine. What I mean to say is that you were never in a position to bargain. Three. What condition have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing even now. I think, what could it be? Oh yeah, it's just the same as before. I just forgot to go through all of it again. that kind of what you can do to others like talk with them to wait what okay about curse stones again you actually can't kill me can you and that strange count countdown from before too it's all just a bluff to threaten me i don't give in to threats so why don't you give this up and if that's the case give it a try then only three more now let me tell you the number two so what activates it is just saying the number like zero Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Should I throw it away? Maybe it's because of this one that she can... Huh? Throw away this lighter? Why did I suddenly get the impulse to do that? Yeah, really throw it away. Not sure why, but here goes nothing. Hmm? What did you just... I guess I figured it out. <laughs> why? Why throw away your lighter all... Oh. Why throw your lighter away all of a sudden? Huh? Uh, well, I just kind of felt like it. And, uh, the, the detective, he asked us for light earlier. And he was there, so I don't know, he probably told her about it. How? Why is she losing it all of a sudden? Could that lighter have been what fulfilled the condition of her curse? But why? How did I... How could you? The thing is... I feel like it's better to not 
use it now because that detective is watching. You know? So maybe I shouldn't. But what if I still don't have a choice? What if it's going to happen anyway? Does the detective look for people with the curses? I don't know. Let me just do a save here. Hmm. If it happens anyway, why do it if you want to try not to do it? Wait. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't do it, but it happened anyway. It didn't ha it happened anyway. <sighs> this can't be. Ah, my shuichi. That's her son, I suppose. The curse stones of the Whispering Canal has gained 25% soul dregs. We have quite a bit then. Let's see. Oh, I need to check my uh, inventory. Hey, quick question for you. What the? Sorry, this is so sudden, but I gotta ask. You don't mind, do you? Imagine- see, this is like 3 a.m. A man coming up to you, just randomly talking to you like this, and just saying, Do you don't mind me asking you a question, do you? Like, I sure as hell would mind. Are you a curse bearer? What? Those are legs. Let's see. 92%. So we almost have 100%. We almost have 100% now. Why would he out himself as a curse bearer like that? Don't tell me it has something to do with activating his curse. Yeah, I don't think I would ever admit to it in this situation. Making it obvious that he's a curse bearer himself? What's he trying to pull? Maybe he's confident that he can activate his curse before I activate mine. You gotta be careful. How should I respond here? Hmm. What's that? The hell is that? It took too long to answer. I didn't know I had time. Like, I was timed. Huh? Plus, you glanced behind me when the curse echo appeared. I knew it. You're curse bearer, too. You can stop trying to hide it now. Not that you were doing a very good job. Damn it. Yeah, you're right. I appreciate the honesty. I just want to have a nice, calm little chat. The name's Utero... 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 Namigaki. My curse echo is the foot-washing mansion. Well, that explains the legs. I guess. <laughs> okay. University student... Uh, the young man encountered a 
Ryogoku, Ry, Ryogoku Bridge. He didn't hide the fact that he was a curse bearer. No, he did not. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book, yeah. Whereas goes and I, I, that's the third, like, well, this time it was you, but I've mentioned it twice already, whenever the, the foot washing mansion thing has been brought up. Like, don't tell that man. <laughs> A chat? I'm not going to curse first and ask questions later just because we're both curse bearers. Got a little more class than that. I hope you're smart enough to extend me the same courtesy. All right. Fine, chat away. Thank you. Good to know I'm dealing with someone reasonable. Hmm. A chat between two curse bearers? What is he trying to pull? Hmm. But yeah, I think this is where we're gonna end today. So that means the next time, which will be on Saturday next week, we'll figure out how this goes. I have to. I've, I've been pushing it more than I intended to. I've even s used up all my snoozes. The cliffhanger? I know, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, my voice is also really tired now. I have to, I have to stop here. But it's been a lot of fun, though. I've I've enjoyed this, and it's not as spoopy as as I thought it would be either. Like there hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too bad. It's been more of a mystery, really. At least so far. I don't know if that's gonna be the case uh, later on, but we'll see. We'll see. You're only kidding. <laughs> I know. Uh, you're stealing my jokes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... I did mention that earlier that it's probably not gonna... I don't know how long I'm gonna be streaming for when I'm playing a game like this because there's a lot of reading and it really... It tires me out reading so much. <laughs> uh, so. But five hours? I, I would say I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. That was uh, a little longer than I actually thought that I would uh, be able to, to do it. I mean, I could probably go for longer as well, but I'm, I'm also just... I don't know. I'm getting hungry as well. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> that was almost a Ryan, almost. But yeah, it's it's fun though. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. But that was cool. I don't know. I don't know why my my achievements aren't popping up on 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 the screen for you guys, because it's supposed to. And it usually does with other games. I don't know why it doesn't with this one. But it was so funny that it popped up uh, just as it became midnight. And then it said, play the game in the middle of the night. <laughs> and I got an achievement for that. So the game clearly uh, reads a few things uh, from your account and stuff because it also... You know, when I was naming my myself in the game and he corrected, oh, so you, you're saying your name is Veprikos when I, when I typed in Vep? I'm like, no, 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 that's not what I did. That's not what I did. <laughs> that's not my name. Um, well, it is, but <laughs> that was cool, though. I am enjoying it. Um, so next. Next Saturday, I think we're going to continue. Um, we're going to continue next Saturday. Because... Uh, I think on Friday, maybe, depends. I don't know. I haven't talked to um, 
Chris and Lauren if they have uh, anything planned, but if they don't, we're probably going to be playing uh, Monster Hunter. And, uh, well, on Wednesday I do play Near Replicants, so that's what we're going to be playing then. So we do have, we do have everything planned. I missed trying to make a clip of it. No, but Palm did. Palm did. Did I flash by myself by, uh, on accident? No, I just... So I when I have a, an ultra-wide monitor. So when I stream, it's better when I use picture by picture, which is just basically two monitors in one. Um, Because it's easier to, to get good capture and stuff for stream. Um... So when I am done with the game, and I know I'm not gonna jump into a, a different one or something, I switch back to the ultra wide uh, mode again, and so then things just get rearranged, and uh, I guess the the browser and everything refreshes and stuff too. Um, so that's why I get a, a flashbang. <laughs> um, Mint to hint to times, yeah, yeah. Ugh, and and we're gonna be playing more near. I'm dude. I'm so invested. Now I'm invested in this too. I'm invested in everything now. Everything that I play right now is so good. I'm really happy with all the games I'm playing right now. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. Don't have any riz. What do you mean? <laughs> It's true. It's true. You do your best not to be working during Min to Hinter, so you can degen from the start. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it's it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. Does it say two fifteen? It does. It does. You know who we're gonna raid then? Uh, because, uh, just like yesterday, I raided someone who was in CKT's raid train, because they're having a raid train all weekend. And I was like, I was hoping that I was ending around the time when Chica was streaming. Uh, she's playing Little Nightmares 2. So we're gonna raid her today. Um, uh, because she is, uh, the one who is currently, uh, the one streaming in the CKT raid train, which is... Doing a spoopy raid train. And for those of you who don't know what CKT is, uh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, you can join both their Twitch and the Discord there if you want to. It's a community for streamers and also non-streamers. Um, honestly, it's just a community. <laughs> but it's it's usually formed like it's formed by by streamers and a lot of mods and and people from streamer communities are also in there without being streamers themselves so you know anyone can join anyone can join i highly recommend though it's it's a lot of there's a lot of cool people there and um very very nice chill wholesome people too I recommend i recommend <laughs> uh but yeah let us let us see but yeah, as, as Ryan posted, my schedule is, uh, I stream on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. CEST. The reason why I have S in, in, I forgot the word, <laughs> is because of summertime, uh, but it's, summertime is over, is it next weekend? But that doesn't mean that my time will change, it's still going to be 9 p.m. Um, so that means that for some of you, I will be streaming an hour later? Earlier? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> if you don't have uh, um, daylight savings time, um, the time will change by an hour. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> I guess it's an hour later? Oh, you think it ended tonight? Oh. 
Yeah, I'm I'm not, I never pay attention to these things. Um I thought it was sometime this weekend, but yeah, I guess I guess so. He goes back, but th see that for some reason that doesn't make any sense to me. Like if you say go back an hour, it's like but what does that mean? Does that mean that it's an hour earlier or an hour later than before? <laughs> Because, like, it's like, both can make sense logically. The way you say it can make sense both ways. Uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, which is why it says 2 a.m. for you, but 1... 2 a.m. for me, but 1 a.m. for you. But you're also an hour later than me, Scoot. No, it's not two hours different difference. I'm an hour ahead of you. Always. I'm an hour ahead of you, the UK. <laughs> so it's gonna be... It's gonna be an hour difference, no matter what. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm only an hour ahead of you. Um... But Orion is one hour ahead of me. If time is now three, then going back an hour it would be two. Okay, so normally it would be 3 a.m. for me now, but it's 2. You generally have no idea what time it is, then. I don't know either. It's also late, okay? It's confusing. Things are confusing. Time is confusing. Okay? It just do be like that sometimes. Uh, all the time, probably, as well. Um, maybe the clocks have already gone back there. <laughs> um... It should be last October weekend, Sunday. Okay, but it is Sunday. So, I guess it did happen now then. I don't know. I don't know, it's confusing. Either way, I will see you on 9 p at 9 p.m. CET this coming week then. Which means 9 p.m. for me is 8 p.m. for you, Scoot. And 10 p.m. for Ryan. <laughs> so uh, that's how it would be. Uh, that's how it would be. But yeah, let us raid Chica. Let us raid Chica before the, the ad break starts. Hope you guys want to join in. She's she's really cool. I do I do like her a lot. I hope you guys like uh, Sheikah as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I will be back again on Wednesday. And don't forget, if you want to join in for our anime night that we have on Thursdays, where we watch Dawn to Dawn each um, th Thursday at 8 p.m. my time, CET. Um, you have, uh, you have a few days to catch up and watch the first four episodes, uh, if you want to join. Or if you don't want to catch up and you just want to hop in, that's fine too. But it's just, you know, if you want some context of what's going on. It's on Netflix and Crunchyroll. Also, go check out my YouTube if you haven't. I post all my VODs there. Um, it's, it's nice if you want to catch up on some, some, some of the, the games that I'm playing that you might have missed or something if you want to but yeah um thank you guys so much for being here I hope, I hope you had a good time I know I have and it wasn't as spoopy as I thought either yeah but I hope you have a good rest of your weekend hope you have a lovely time the rest of your week and weekend and I'll see you on, on Wednesday and in the discord bye bye bye, -bye.